Following is a special presentation from the WKLM Sports Department. It's time now for high school basketball from your hometown radio station, FM 95.3 WKLM. And good evening from the Berkey Fieldhouse, the second-ranked Highland Lady Hawks in Division Four with a record of 17 and two. They won five games in a row. They're taking on Smithville, the Lady Smithies, a record of 12 and six, and they won two straight. Stay tuned. We speak with the Highland head basketball coach Brady Slayball on the pregame show on WKLM. There's nothing better than the sound of a hammer, a drill, and a saw. A&R Builders in Berlin has been putting all those tools to work for the past 25 years. If you need re-roofing work done, A&R Builders is the place to call. They'll also do new homes for both residential and general contractors, along with pool buildings, decks, and custom framing. Call A&R Builders in Berlin at 893-2111. That's 893-2111. Melway Paving Company is a well-known asphalt paving contractor for homes in surrounding counties since 1964, specializing in asphalt paving, chip and seal, and seal coating. For your next paving project, call Melway Paving at 330-279-9000. Melway Paving is a proud supporter of all Holmes County athletes. And I'm alongside Scott Rohde from Rohde's IGA, and they're helping you get ready for this. Hold on, wait a minute, Matt. I'm pretty sure we're not allowed to say that. What are you talking about, Scott? You mean I can't say this Sunday is this? No, we can't say that. It's copyrighted. All right, now I get it. But I can say that Rhodey's IGA has all the items you need for your big game parties this Sunday, right? Sure can, and great sale prices, too. All right, stop in now through Sunday and get ready for the... S Matt, not again. Sorry, I mean the big game at Rhodey's IGA Marketplace in Millersburg. 
At Home Siding Contractors, our mission is to give homeowners a quality product. Whether it's our vinyl siding or our energy efficient replacement windows and doors, Home Siding Contractors is ready to turn your home into one of your biggest energy saving assets. You'll notice the difference as your home will stay warmer in the winter and cooler in the summer. Call 888-725-6619 for a in-home estimate or find all of our products at homesiding.com. Beachy's Auto Care and Truck Center continues to offer the convenience of two great locations on US 62 in Winesburg and on County Road 201 in Berlin. The Winesburg shop will take care of heavy-duty truck and fleet customers from 7 a.m. to midnight, while the Berlin facility will repair auto and light trucks from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Contact them in Winesburg at 359-5421 or in Berlin at 674-6970. That's Beachy's Auto Care and Truck Center in Winesburg and Berlin. At Mack Oil Field Service, they offer specialized trucking, water hauling, dirt work, and general oil field service in New York, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, and Ohio. They have the equipment and manpower to tackle any task handed to them. The future lies in the hands of our youth, and Mack Oil Field Service is proud to support them. Call Mack Oil Field Service for all your oil field needs at 330-674-7371. That's 330-674-7371. Before the Tip is brought to you by Village Motors of Millersburg. When it comes to service, nobody cares more than Village Motors in Millersburg. This is Deke Miller, and I'm proud to say that we have state-of-the-art equipment and factory-trained technicians working on your vehicle when you visit. And we also offer a variety of preventative maintenance programs designed to greatly reduce the cost of your service visits. We are competitive, convenient, and we care. So the next time you need your vehicle service, stop by and see us at Village Motors in Millersburg. Alongside Highland Lady Hawks and basketball coach Brady Stave, all course getting ready for this matchup here on the road against Smithville. And he took a couple games ago, Brady, able to get that win over Tuskegee Valley, kind of ramped up the IVC South Division title. How key was that, able to get that IVC title kind of ramped up and kind of look ahead? Hey, you know, I think that was something that meant a lot for our girls. It was something our seniors hadn't done since our freshman year, and the rest of these kids have never had an outright IVC title. So um, to get that on their floor in a great atmosphere, really good atmosphere, uh, was exciting. And, you know, I felt like we played pretty well, shot the ball well, had 17 offensive rebounds, I think. So, um, yeah, we were pleased. Tournament drawing course this past Sunday. Of course, you got the top seed in the district. I can imagine a please with the, your situation there in, in your Division Four district. Yeah, you know, as always, it's an exciting time of year, and uh, you know, as the, the tournament draw comes around, it always brings back those, you know, that kind of March Madness energy and, and atmospheres. And I'm sure that we'll have some some of those type atmospheres, you know, on, on the tournament trail. So yeah, excited to get rolling. All right, on the road, as I mentioned, against Smithfield tonight. Of course, last year, your place, kind of a slugfest there. Lost to them 30-17. to 17. How much has that been talked about? Are you guys going to just throw that away and look ahead uh, as far as that matchup from a season ago? Yeah, you know, I, I, I think it's two really good defensive teams, and, and that's what you had last year was a defensive slugfest. Both teams know each other pretty well. Um, you know, we played open gyms and stuff with these guys all spring and summer, so both kids are going to know each other well, and, it's about which team makes the most plays. 50-50 um, balls, offensive rebounds, you know, hitting some big shots, and uh, hopefully we have a few more of those than they do. I'll say with that being said, obviously we know this team's been playing some great basketball here lately and truly have embraced those challenges here. Uh, as you mentioned, as far as the 50 balls, things like that, other than that, what has maybe stood out to you about this team and how they've been excelling here of late? You know, I think they've really bought into it, it's not going to be the same person every night stepping up. And you know, it's, it's whoever's willing to hit big shots, yes, but it's also, you know, who's got the best defensive matchups of the night? Who's who's taking a couple charges? Who's getting the offensive boards tonight? And, you know, they, they know that it's those little things that is getting them more and more playing time. And, you know, how, how they see the benefit from that, I think, in the long run. So, uh, you know, those type of plays and and stuff are really exciting for a team and you know for an atmosphere so um, hopefully we can keep getting some of those little things 
with tournaments around the corner. Brady, which we just talked about, how important is it to have a game like this? You have Wayne Dale, of course, coming up on Monday. Have a couple games like this before the postseason begins. Yeah, I think that these couple games were kind of scheduled with that in mind, hoping for a little bit of a tournament atmosphere. But, you know, th th this is a high-level tournament team. Uh, so Smithville is going to be district final, regionals, and, and have a chance to go to state again this year. So um, to get to have a team like that 20 minutes down the road is – it's huge for us to, uh, you know, ha have a chance to see where we, where we stand right now. All right, Brady, thanks for your time. Good luck tonight. Appreciate it. Thanks, Matt. That's the voice of Ohio Lady Hawks head basketball coach, Brady Schleyball. Before the tip has been brought to you by Village Motors of Millersburg. Are you having ongoing issues with your flat or low slope roof? MEB Systems of Sugar Creek specializes in flat or low slope roofs and has been serving the community and beyond since 1977. Whether it's tracking down or resolving that persistent leak, you are in need of a complete roof replacement, or you have a new build, MEB Systems will strive to find the best solution for you. They believe if a job is worth doing, it's worth doing right. Call MEB Systems Incorporated today at 330-852-4333 and visit them online at mebsystems.com. MEB Systems wishes all Holmes County athletes a safe and healthy season. Everyone knows that Mellersburg Tire Service sells a lot of farm tires like BKT, Seat, Firestone, Michelin, Titan, Galaxy, D-Stone, and Lions. Hi, this is Brad Smucker from Mellersburg Tire Service, and we also sold over 10,000 heavy-duty truck tires last year in 29 different brands. We can mount them in our truck bay, or we can drop them off. If it runs on tires, Mellersburg Tire Service has it, or we can get it from the many suppliers that we have available. Plus, we sell tires in Ohio and all the surrounding states. When you want the best, call Mellersburg Tire Service at 330-674-1085 and talk to one of our knowledgeable sales staff celebrating our 70th year in the tire business. Call Berlin Heating and Cooling, your Ream Pro partner, and you know you're calling the very best. Berlin Heating and Cooling services and installs Ream and all other types of furnaces and equipment. Berlin Heating and Cooling, they're your local team you can trust. Call them today at 330-893-3057. That's 330-893-3057. Are you ready to tackle home improvement with a winning team? Look no further than Wayne Door, your MVP for all things doors and windows. Score big with their championship lineup. Garage doors, openers, entry and storm doors, windows, patio doors, and more. Just like a winning play, Wayne Door offers an unbeatable sales team, flawless installation, and game-changing service. Their local experts ensure you're always in the lead. Don't settle for anything less. Visit them today at WayneDoor.com or stop by their showroom and elevate with your home improvement improvement game with the experts. Wayne Door, people you can trust since 1973. EcoSeal Home Solutions has been serving all of Northeast and Central Ohio as the leader in foundation waterproofing and repair, basement exit systems, and gravel delivery. Whether you're building a new home or your existing home's foundation and basement is in need of some TLC, EcoSeal has the answer. For more information or to schedule a free estimate, call 330-893-SEAL. That's 330-893-7325. Did you know that one of the nation's top hospitals was founded right here in Holmes County? It's true. Pomerine Hospital was recently named the top 20 rural and community hospital by the National Rural Health Association. For 75 years, Pomerine has applied the latest medical expertise to meet the unique needs of our community. And today, they continue to lead the way in reliable patient outcomes, from outpatient services to life-saving surgeries. Learn more about the many ways Pomerine provides award-winning care right in your backyard. Visit pomerinehospital.org. Two seventeen, and in that contest, as far as the two teams are concerned, for Smithville, uh, they would shoot for the game twenty five percent from three point range, four of sixteen. Highland went two for twenty three, though, just two of twenty three on three pointers, just nine percent. That was a big difference there. And Smithville shooting twenty eight percent from two point range. Highland shot thirteen percent. So neither team really shooting well on either side of the ball. While Highland really not shooting well in that particular matchup. And also, as far as the free throws concerns. Smithville, 4 of 8 for the foul line. Highland, just 3 of 5 in that game from last season. In that game, Smithville also out-rebounding Highland, 
they're 28. So Miss Fifth, a big advantage on the boards in that matchup last year. We know that's a, certainly a Highland has emphasized this year is the rebounding, no question about it, but lost the rebounding battle against Smithville last year at their pace. And also in that game, Smithville had 15 turnovers despite the, the win. Highland had just eight in that game. Individually for the two teams, for Highland leading the way for them in that lowest scoring affair, seven points for Ashley Mullen in that contest. And also three points apiece for Joplin Yoder and Abby Miller. And for Smithville, in that victory last year, they were led by Naomi Kai, who had 12 points in that game and six rebounds. Allie Wickens had 10 points and nine boards. And that Smithville win last year, 30 to 17. Highland, of course, for them, they share the IBC South Division title last year, going 11 1 with Tusky Valley as well. And of course, went 16 and 6 during regular season play overall. Smithville last year, they would uh, win the co-champions of the Wayne County Athletic League. Three teams would share the Wayne County Athletic League title with Smithville, Wayne Dale, and Chippewa all finishing up at 12-2 in the conference. Smithville went 23-3 overall during the regular season last year. Highland, of course, advanced to the Division IV state semifinals falling to the eventual state champions Tri-Village in that state semifinal game, 51-34. Smithville in Division Three in the Northeast Four District. They would fall to Warrensville Heights in the district championship game by the final margin of 56 to 43 last year. Stay tuned. More to come on the pregame show after this on WKLM. Since 1991, Holmes County Education and Community Foundation has awarded more than $11 million in scholarships to nearly 2,800 Holmes County residents pursuing higher education. Scholarship applications for the 2024-2025 academic year will open in January. To apply, please visit our website at www.hcef.net. Holmes County residents and Holmes County High School graduating seniors may apply. Get financial solutions when you need it from Dave Schlabel Financial Services. After winning six state championships as a head basketball coach, Dave Schlabel knows that planning, preparation, and hard work can lead to success. And the same can be applied to your financial future. Whether you are a young adult, individual, family, or a business, Dave Stabal Financial Services will establish financial goals and income protection. Contact Dave Stabal Financial Services at 893-1900, located at 4585 State Route 39, Millersburg. Securities offered through ON Equity Sales Company, member FINRA SIPC. This is Matt Kinsey. At First Federal Community Bank, our mission is to empower the financial well-being of our community one person at a time. Through integrity and quality, we earn the trust of our customers and exceed their expectations. First Federal Community Bank, investing in our community since 1898. Serving your banking needs in Dover, New Philadelphia, Yerkesville, Sugar Creek, Berlin, and Mount Hope. First Federal Community Bank, member FDIC. When it comes to service, nobody cares more than Village Motors in Millersburg. This is Deke Miller, and I'm proud to say that we have state-of-the-art equipment and factory-trained technicians working on your vehicle when you visit. And we also offer a variety of preventative maintenance programs designed to greatly reduce the cost of your service visits. We are competitive, convenient, and we care. So the next time you need your vehicle service, stop by and see us at Village Motors in Millersburg. Companies are investing in Ohio every day. Invest in yourself and get the training you need to land the job of your dreams or enhance your skills this year. Buckeye Career Center is now accepting full-time adult education applications for our 10 programs that begin in August. We are also enrolling for our winter adult diploma program courses, including automotive brakes, automotive electrical electronic systems, Ohio commercial pest control, drone license preparation, STNA, and more. Call 330-339-2288 to learn how we can help you get your high school diploma for free. Hey you, are you looking for driveway or base materials? I know just the place to go. DNM Rocks in Millersburg. They have shale products and culvert pipe and they deliver. Or maybe you're looking for landscape supplies. DNM Rocks has that too. Stop and see them on the hill behind Jenner's or give them a call to set up a delivery at 330-473-6020. DNM Rocks!
Highlands only two losses this year coming at the Classic in the Country at the Recenter fell to two Division I schools to Reynoldsburg, 55-46 and a 46-39 loss to Olmstead Falls. Highland overall a record of 17-2. They're the second-ranked team currently in Division IV. For Smithville out of Division III, for them, they lost to Waynedale early in the year on the road, 49-32 loss to them, a 44-34 loss, a 10-point loss to Maslin Jackson on the road, lost 52-42 at Chippewa, a 45-41 loss also at home to a very good Mansfield senior team, and of course lost 35-25 to Ottawa Glendorf at the Classic in the country, and their last loss was their second loss to Chippewa, lost at home to the Chippewa Lady Chips by the score of 46 to 34. Smithville has a record of 12 and 6 on the season. For Highland, they're averaging just over 59 and a half points per game, while Smithville is averaging 48 points per contest. Defensively, Highland is giving up just under 30 points per contest. The Smithies giving up 33 points per game defensively for them so far this year. Highland, of course, out of the IVC South Division where they have captured the outright IVC South Division title, their 29th consecutive IVC Championship going 12-0. Tusky Valley finished up in second place at 9-2. Ridgewood 7-4. Indian Valley and Sandy Valley both 5-6. And, and also Garraway 1-10. Claymont 0-11. Oh, In the IVC North Division, Strasburg won the IVC North Division title. They went 11-0. East Canton 8-3. Buckeye Trails 6-5. Malvern is 5-5. Five Canaton Valley 5 and 6, Newcomers Town 2 and 9, and TCC is 1 and 9. In the Ohio Cardinal Conference, Mansfield Senior West Holmes tied at 12 and 1 atop of the conference. West Holmes, of course, playing tomorrow night against Madison for a chance to clinch at least a share of their fourth consecutive OCC championship. After that, Lexington 8 and 5 of the conference, Ashland 7 and 7, Mount Vernon and Madison 4 and 9, Worcester is 3 and 10, New Philadelphia 2 and 10. Overall around the area in girls basketball, Latinville is 16 and 1, Waynedale 15 and 4, Danville is 15 and 6, while Triway is 14 and 4, West Holmes 14 and 5 overall, Central Christian a record of 9 and 10, and Garraway is 6 and 12. In the Wayne County Athletic League, it is Chippewa at 12 and 0. Waynedale is 10 and 2. Chippewa has clinched at least a share of the Wayne County Athletic League title. Smithville sits at third place at 9 and 3 in the Wayne County Athletic League. After that, Norway is 8 and 4. Northwestern 4 and 8, Downton 4 and 8, Hillsdale 1 and 11, and Rittman 0 and 12. We'll take a break. Troy Fritz alongside for the broadcast. We'll get some comments from him right after this on WKLM. Ready to turn back time? This is Dr. Emily Reeser of Dr. Brad Welsh and Associates. PDO threads are a non-surgical, minimally invasive way to achieve a youthful and lifted appearance. These dissolvable threads are skillfully placed under the skin to stimulate your body's natural collagen production. PDO threads can be used to address a wide range of concerns, including sagging skin, wrinkles, fine lines, and more. To see before and after pictures and the other cosmetic injection services we provide, visit our website at drbradwelsh.com. To schedule a consultation, give us a call at 330-674-4876. Loading the kids in the car, brokering peace in the back seat, mastering the snack handoff without even looking. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with auto owners, insurance doesn't have to be one of them. We work with independent agents who keep insurance simple so you can worry about more important things like figuring out what's growing in that cup holder. That's simple human sense. Contact your local auto owner's insurance agent. Hobrin's Insurance Service, 170 South Clay Street in Millersburg. Call 1-800-340-3767. It's time to be thinking about those concrete projects. Call Homes Ready Mix of Millersburg, offering ready mix concrete, precast blocks, and a variety of mason and concrete products. Call today for prices and delivery options of ready mix concrete at 674-0865 or sand and gravel at 674-8121. That's Homes Ready Mix of Millersburg, a proud supporter of all Homes County athletes. This is Raleigh Mast. I'm a fleet mechanic with Yoder Lumber Logistics. We are a truck load carrier and broker servicing customers east of the Rocky Mountains. We have a fleet of late model equipment specializing in flatbed and Conestoga freight. At Yoder Lumber Logistics, we take pride in offering our customers fast and friendly service at competitive rates for all their inbound and outbound needs. 
give us a call today at 330-893-3131. Highlands first tournament game will be coming up for them and on February 21st at 7 o'clock they'll have a home game as the top seed against TCC. For Smithville their first tournament game will be on February 24th and that'll be a game at 1 o'clock against either Wycliffe or Independence. That game also will be here at the Berkey Fieldhouse for their contest as well. McRoy alongside Troy Fitz for the broadcast. Highland at Smithville and should be a great matchup here tonight Troy. Well it is. This is what Highland's looking for as they start to wind down their season but Smithville a very very good ball team. Map. You look at last year, of course, Highland kind of lost the game on their home floor here, kind of an ugly game. I'm sure Highland uh, doesn't forget about those things as they go on and take Smithville here on tonight. Uh, that game last year might have been a turning point for Highland, Matt. I don't know if we've ever seen them score 17 points. It's been a long, long time since that happened. But, you know, I think that probably is something to help motivate them in the offseason, amongst other things. You know, making that run to the state tournament last year, I think that, and then they look back at a game like this and say, that's never going to happen again. Yeah, and Highland's <laughs> played great basketball here, yeah. no question about that this season here. Brady Stable talking in the pregame interview, not just embracing roles, but also wanting to win your matchup. And these girls certainly have been uh, playing like that here throughout the season. Yeah, and it doesn't matter who they're up against. They're going to win that matchup, whether it's a team matchup or it's that, that, that individual matchup. The role players for Highland this year is what's impressed me, Matt. This bench and those players coming off the bench has continually gotten better and better to the point that I don't know who I'd want guarding me out there. Not any of them, I don't think. No doubt about that. Now for Smith, though, they've had a terrific season here. They've yeah. got their losses all come to, to outstanding basketball teams this year, but I'm sure they'd like to get a, a win over a, a really good team here before tournament time. Yeah, they're, they're about the best 12 and 16 you're going to find here, but this will be a big one for Smithville. They could knock off Highland tonight, Matt. We'll see what happens. Troy Fitz will have tonight's starting lineups in the opening tip after this on WKLM. Get your vehicle back on the road smooth and problem-free with Village Motors Collision Center. Hi, this is Deke Miller, and our Collision Center works on all makes and models and has available deductible assistance, along with loaner and rental vehicles available for your use, complimentary oil change packages, not to mention that we are the preferred repair shop for most insurance companies. Ask us about our cleanup packages with four great packages from basic to premium by appointment only starting at $19.95. For collision repair, make your first stop at Village Motors in Millersburg. Critchfield Law Firm has always been dedicated to providing the highest quality legal services to their clients throughout Holmes County and surrounding areas. Critchfield Law Firm also understands the dedication of our youth. From the classroom to the music room to athletics, Holmes County's best is represented in every academic area. Critchfield Law Firm in Millersburg, wishing all who participate the best in their endeavors. Time is ticking and your dream home is waiting. This is Ben Hershberger at the Commercial and Savings Bank. We understand that buying a home can be overwhelming, but with CSB, it's easier than ever. We offer a range of options. Whether you're looking to buy, build, refinance, or improve your home, our mortgage lenders will guide you every step of the way. Visit our website at csb1.com to apply online today and turn your dream into a reality. The Commercial and Savings Bank, where homeownership begins. Member FDIC equal housing lender. And tonight's starting last brought to you by Finish Line Auto Body, located on the north side of Middlesbrough. If your car is damaged, the best place to get it back in the game is at Finish Line Auto Body. And now for tonight's starting lineups, here's Troy Fritz. And thank you very much, Matt. For the number two state-ranked Highland Lady Hawks, they'll be your visitors on the scoreboard tonight. They'll start with their 5'6 sophomore guard in Evie Mast, a 5'8 junior guard in Trish Troyer, a 5'10 senior guard in Mallory Stutzman, the 5'8 senior guard in Ashley Mullet, and in the middle for Highland, they'll go with their 5'11 junior forward in Joplin Yoder. For Smith, they'll coming in here 12 and 6 on the year, the home team tonight. They'll go with their 5'9 junior guard. Maddie Singer, a six foot senior guard in Naomi Kybe. 5'11 senior forward is Audrey Seidel, a 5'9 junior guard in Allie Wickens, and a 5'10 senior guard in Cameron Wickens for the Smithies. Highland coached by Brady Stable in the second season. Smithville coached by Eric Nichols for the Lady Smithies. And tonight's starting line is brought to you by Finish Line Auto Body. They have experts in collision repair and paint jobs. They'll have your car looking brand new. 
will even pay up to $500 of your insurance deductible. Give Brooks a call, 674-1483. Mack Roy alongside Troy Fritz. It's Kenny Hale back at WKLM Sports Central. And glad to have you with us on FN 95.3 as well as WKLMFN.com. We're also video live streaming tonight's contest on the WKLM YouTube page. It's courtesy of the Claxon communication team of Casey Claxon producing tonight's live stream coverage. Carson Zoller is working the camera as well. Go to YouTube, search WKLM Radio to find the live stream coverage for tonight's contest. Also, just to let you know, if you're tuning in to the video stream and looking for wrestling tonight, we are video live streaming wrestling tonight. Also, senior night, of course, over at West Dolphin Dungeon, West Dolphin, Philadelphia, and, uh, and also Dalton. That's also on YouTube tonight as well. Matt Coy alongside Troy Fritz, and uh, we mentioned here should be a good atmosphere here tonight, Troy. Well, it is a good atmosphere. Matt, we come into this gym night, you and I commented about this gym at Smithville. Gym has been, in, as we hear, since the 1970s early, but it's that old-style gym that's kind of timeless. It's a great place to watch a basketball game. You can hear the pep band. It feels like a tournament atmosphere. We're ready to go. No doubt about that. Highland sporting their gray jerseys, gray shorts, and gray numerals and white trim. Smithville, white jerseys, white shorts, green numerals, and green and white trim. Jumping for Smith. Bill, Naomi Kaib, a six-foot senior for Highland, Jonathan Yoder, a 5'11 junior. There's the whistle, there's a toss, it'll be won by Smithville, going from right to left in the first half from the Berkey Fieldhouse. Pass goes out top, the dribble now by a singer to the right wing. She'll pick it up. Bounce pass goes out top now to Audrey Seidel, back in the left wing, dribble by Wickens to the top of the key. On the right point, back to Maddie Singer. She'll back it up near the midcore line. Singer now to the left wing. Bounce pass near side. Still one away by Ashley Mullet. Rolls out of bounds. That'll be off of Smithville. And it will be the first turnover of the game on the Smithies. Yeah, keep an eye down the low post. Joplin Yoder and Cameron Wickens going at it here early. That's going to be a battle down low. Yes, it will. Highland going from left to right with it. Ashley Mullet across the half court line. The Stutzman now the left wing. Grabbed by Trish Troyer. Her pass inside, knocked out of bounds off the hands of Troyer, and that will be a Highland turnover. So a turnover each way to start off the game. Yeah, Smithville's got a really good defensive unit out there. Embatted by Cameron Wickens to the backcourt. Grabbed by Maddie Singer, the 5'9 junior guard, averaging 9.5 points per game. She'll take it across the timeline, working against Edie Bass to the right wing. Pass goes to the far side corner to Cameron Wickens. Dribbles it high on the right side. She'll spin around to the corner, gets the handoff. Drive to the foul line. Al top down goes to Audrey Seidel. Back in the left corner, received by Singer. Singer holds onto it, now dribbles it to the top of the key. Hedged upon by Stutzman. Pass goes to the left wing. Jab step. Jab step again, now the dribble on the left wing, grabbed by Cameron Wickens, pass inside, knocked out of bounds by Trish Troyer, it'll be Smithville basketball. Yeah, good job there by Trish on the rotation on the back side of the defense. No score, about a minute into this first quarter, embedded by Singer goes out top now to Naomi Kybe. Kai backs it in, her shot left hand off the glass, and good. Nice, strong move by Kybe. Over top of Joplin Yoder, it'll be Smithville a 2-0 lead. Highland basketball the other way. Mullins uh, pass inside, goes over to Joplin Yoder. Her layup going to be good and a foul. Joplin Yoder, a chance for a three-point play. Yeah, that battle's developing early. Joplin said, watch this. No doubt about that. Joplin Yoder, 5'11 junior post player, averaging 11.5 points per game. Off the assist from Ashley Mullet. She'll line it up. The free throw is going to be good. Completes the three-point play. Highland has their first lead at 3-2. to two. Smithville basketball. Six and a half to play first quarter. And the dribble across the timeline by Cameron Wickens. Guarded by Ashley Mullock. Crossover left wing. Wickens picks it up now. Looking. Shovels a high on the left side. Back to Maddie Singer. Singer dribbles it against Mast out top. Now to the foul line. Backs it into the paint. She's cut off. Pass inside, fumbled, grab, pass across the lane, out of bounds, and it'll be off the hands of Joplin Yoder, so Smithville will keep the basketball. Yeah, that was a nice dribble drive penetration there by Singer to set up that opportunity. Singer now to inbound it, does so out top, chased down by Audrey Seidel. She'll get to it to the midcourt line. Back in the right side, pass into the right post, going to be a foul called, I believe. Joplin Yoder was holding on to Naomi Kai. Yeah, I think the officials caught the attention of those two banging down low already. He's going to watch that. No doubt. And the Smithies will have it again to inbound beneath through a backboard. Goes out top, received by Kybe. Left to the foul line, Singer. Dribbles it. Back to Kybe. Three-pointer by Kybe up in the air. Going to be off the mark. New uh, uh, rebound grabbed by Mallory Stutzman. Here's Mullis pass. Front court for Highland. Right corner goes to Master. Three-pointers no good. Rebound going to be grabbed by Trish Troyer. She'll put it back up and in. Another one of those offensive rebounds for Highland. Troyer has her first 2-5-2 two, two Highland advantage on a 5-0 run. Smithville basketball to the front court. Here's the handoff, grabbed by Wickens. Hallie Wickens pass goes cross court to Maddie Singer. Near the midcourt line, Singer dribbles the right wing. Gets the handoff now 
And the dribble by Kaibau top. Her pass goes out of bounds. A little miscommunication that time. The second Smithville turnover. That's what the Highland defense will do to you. And the Lady Hawks have it. A 5-2 advantage. Stay tuned tonight for High School Scoreboard on WKLM. It's brought to you tonight by Home Siding Contractors. And it'll be Kenna Howe reporting all the area basketball scores for you all the way until midnight. Highland has the ball in a three-point lead. Ashley Mullet to the front court. Fast pass goes to the far side over to the dribble by Habiger in the game now. Ellie Habiger with the pass goes out top now the Stutzman. Back in the right corner. Here's Evie Mass. Dribbles it to the foul line. Back to Habiger on the right point. Out top now to Stutzman, left wing mullet, back in the corner goes to Evie Mass. Back out top to Stutzman, head fake, dribbles it, gets the hand off, just behind Mullet, she'll track it back down near midcourt. Ashley Mullet now on the right wing, dribbles it out top, pass to the corner, grabbing to the far side, now the dribble to the foul line by Mass, goes out top to Stutzman, right wing now to Mallory, M Macy Mullet rather, her cross court pass down to Ashley Mullet. Mullet out top, dribbles it, against that Smithville defense. Looking for somebody to come open. Yeah, good defensive job here by Smithville. Here's Mass to the foul line. Al top goes to Habiger. Habiger, shot from 15 feet away, gonna be blocked. Rebound gonna be picked up by Leah Kybe. Smithies basketball the other way. Pass goes left wing, the singer deflected and knocked away by Mass. Highland gets the steal. Now the Stutzman to the front court. Her three-pointers up in the air, gonna be no good. Rebound, it'll be corralled by Macy Mullet. That was after the third Smithville turnover. Highland has it. Here's Stutzman. Drive. Her shot blocked to the four. Grabbed by Macy Mullet. Back to Highland on the right side to Ashley Mullet. She'll back it up to reset the offense. Midway point of the first quarter. Highland has the ball. Macy Mullet now left wing. Out top goes to Habiger. Dribbles it to the foul line. Gets the handoff. Ashley Mullet now drive. Lane run up in the air by Ashley Mullet. She'll miss the shot. Rebound grabbed by Cameron Wickens. Smithville basketball and a great defensive stand there. That was an excellent defensive stand by Smithville. Smith East with the ball. Here's Singer across the timeline. Dribbles at right wing. Pass inside. Deflected. Goes out of bounds. And that will be off of Smithville's hands. And it'll be a, the fourth Smithville turnover. Yeah, Highland's doing their job on the defensive end, too. Great defenses both ways, no doubt about it. After the game, we'll be announcing the Six Monies player of the game. Six Monies, your one-stop shop for all things custom apparel. Stay up to date with their latest offerings on Facebook and Instagram and shop online at sixmoneys.com. Highland ball on the left wing. Troyer's pass goes to Joplin Yoder, and she'll be held. A foul called from behind, and that'll be on Smith. They'll be uh, placed on for them. Leah Kai has her first personal foul. And indeed, Joplin's really being active down low. They're keeping an eye on her is Smithville. Embedded left of the foul line, Joplin Yoder. Now to Habiger to the foul line. Gets the handoff. Ashley Bullets, 18 footers up in the air. She'll miss the shot. Rebound, save, but now out of bounds. So indeed it will be Smithville with the basketball. 5-2 Highland stuck on that score right now with 3.23 to play in the first quarter. Inbounded by Allie Wickens, goes to Cameron Wickens. Highland sporting the 1 2 2 press on. Back to Singer, back to the near side. Here's the dribble by Cameron Wickens across the timeline. Cross court pass to Allie Wickens. Her pass goes to the corner now, goes to Leah Kybe. Her cross court pass received now by Audrey Seidel. Three pointers up in the air, no good by Seidel. And rebound going to go after it. A foul called, and I believe pushing off is going to be the call, and that'll be slapped on Leah Kybe. They did indeed. It's kind of away from the ball coming off that uh, missed shot. It's a foul on Seidel and Kybe now for Smithville. Highland has the basketball. Three minutes to play in the first. Here's Ashley Mullet across the timeline directing traffic. Dribbles it, spins around to the lane. Her shot's up in the air, going to be no good. Rebound will be corralled by Maddie Singer. Smithville ball. Smithner, Singer across the timeline to the foul line. Backs it up out top. Takes a left wing, gets the pass off into the hands of Naomi Kive. Her pass out top and out of bounds. Try to find Allie Wickens instead, the fifth Smithville turnover. Well, Highland's doing such a great job playing defense away from the ball, closing down the passing lane that's forcing these turnovers. Don't let your home be without power. Call Holmesville Electric, your local Generac automatic standby generator dealer. Holmesville Electric has factory certified technicians that carries you a full line of parts and service hits for all your Generac needs. Drive by Joplin Yoder to the baseline. Her shot up in the air going to be no good. Rebound slapped away. Ground, however, by Tori Weaver in the game now for Highland. And Ashley Mullet. She'll back it in. Mullet, scoop shot off the last. Going to be good. Mullet, her first two. Highland now a 7-2 advantage. 
Call Holmesville Electric 330-279-4522. Smith East with the basketball. Bounce pass to Singer. Goes to the right wing. And the dribble now by Naomi Kive to the foul circle. Gets the handoff down to Maddie Singer. Two minutes to play. First quarter. Now with it high on the right side to Audrey Seidel. Dumps it inside. It'll be grabbed by Naomi Kive. She'll bank it up and in. Yeah, great look inside there by Seidel getting the assist. Highland had scored the last seven points, so big shot for Smithville. Down 7-4 to four now. Pass inside the Yoder. Right corner to Edie Master. Three-pointer going to be knocked down. If Edie gets her shot on track, that's good for Highland. Certainly is. A 10-4 lead for the Lady Hawks in the first basket of the game for Edie Mast. Smithville has the basketball. One and a half to play first quarter. Here's Allie Wickens pass. Goes right wing. Three-pointer up in the air going to be no good. And a rebound grabbed by Allie Wickens. Now to Cameron Wickens. And offensive foul is going to be called. Cameron Wickens ran in, and that'll be the third team foul in Smithville. Cameron Wickens has her first personal foul and also the sixth turnover. Yeah, we talked about that high on some role players. Somebody comes in, take an offensive foul, and they did it. And it will be Highland with the basketball. 10-4 Highland advantage, 119 to play in the first quarter. Macy Mullis to the front court pass goes right side to Evie Mast out top, Joplin Yoder. Now the Stutzman left wing. Stutzman drives to the lane. Little footer up in the air. No good. Rebound slapped away to the corner. And chased after a diving grab by Tori Weaver. And she'll be fouled on that loose ball attempt. And I believe going to be on Cameron Wickens with that foul. And that's what Tori does for you. She comes in off the bench already, Matt. She's got two offensive boards. Now she's going to the free throw line. Gets those hustle plays. And now the second personal on Cameron Wickens. And Weaver will be at the foul line. That was actually the fifth team foul on Smithville. So a bonus situation. Weaver lines it up, and it's going to be good on the first attempt. Tori Weaver. Your 11th point on the season, 5'7 sophomore guard for this Highland team. Yeah, you said 11 on the season, Matt. You know she's not the scoring leader, but man, what she does with her heart. She knows her role for sure. She does. Both free throws are good by Weaver. 12-4 lead for Highland. Smith though has the basketball. One minute to play in the first quarter. To the front court, dribble by Singer, and going to be a foul called. But the hand behind her all the way, Evie Mast. Second team foul on Highland. Mast has her first. Yeah, Evie got caught from behind, just couldn't catch up, got the reach. Maddie Singer to inbound now. Smithy's down by eight. Trish Troyer getting set to check in. She will do so, replacing Tori Weaver. 12 for Highland, 58 seconds to play in the first. And batted out top. It'll be grabbed by Allie Wickens. Wickens holds on to it, now dribbles it. Pass goes left wing. Inside goes into the pass into the sidle, goes back out top. Back near the midcourt line, tracked down by Wickens. Smithies have it high on the right side. Singer with it, crossover out top, 40 seconds. The handoff to the corner goes to Naomi Kibe. Back out top, received now by Leah Kibe. Gets it over to Maddie Singer. 30 seconds to play. Pass pass goes inside the paint. Scoop shot left hand by Allie Wickens is good. That was a great drive there by Allie Wickens. Her first two, 12-6 Highland. Lady Hawks have it. Here's Ashley Mullet on the right wing. 20 seconds to play in the quarter. Mullet, three-pointer left wing up of the air going to be knocked oh, down. that's pretty. Mullet has five. Her first three-pointer, 15-6. Lady Hawks and a pretty nice answer. Oh, my. Eight seconds. Here's Singer. Pass to the corner. Dribble by Leah Kybe to the baseline. Her layup off the last no good. Rebound to Stutzman. And that will close out the first quarter. At the end of one from the Berkey Fieldhouse, it is Highland 15 and Smithville 6. This is Girls High School Basketball on WKLM. A single family home located at 5078 Township Road 382 in Millersburg is listed for sale by Kaufman Realty and Auctions with an asking price of $465,000. This property was built in 1987 and has three bedrooms and two full and one partial baths with 1,932 square feet. Located in the Golden Valley Estate subdivision within the East Holmes Local School District. For more information or to choose a date and time to see this property, contact Aaron Miller at 330-473-7359 or check it out at KaufmanRealty.com. Hi, this is Kerry Taylor, and at Millersburg Electric, we understand that your time is valuable, and you deserve a salesperson who will listen to your needs and budget, then works hard to search for availability of the right appliance to get to you in the timeliest manner. As part of a multi-million dollar buying group, our pricing is just as competitive as all those larger stores, and we get quick access to thousands of appliances. Finally, we'll send a dedicated delivery and install team to your home, and we offer service on your purchase long after the sale. Since 1945, Millersburg Electric on State Route 83 or 24-7 at MillersburgElectric.com. 
First quarter numbers courtesy of Troy Fritz. Highland was 2 of 4 on three-point tries for 50%. Smithville 0 for 2. Highland 3 for 9 from two-point range for 33%. Smithville was 3 of 5. And Highland 3 of 3 for the foul line. Smithville did not attempt the foul shot. To begin the second quarter, three-pointer by Trish Troyer from the corner is no good. Rebound grabbed by Allie Wickens for the Smithies. Highland rebounding Smithville 8 to 5 in that first quarter. Six turnovers for Smithville, one for Highland in that first quarter of play. Smithies basketball to begin the second pass to the right block. Goes inside. Layup is going to be good in the foul. Maddie Singer in the post has a chance for a three point play. Yeah, Maddie Singer going up strong on the right hand side. Drew the foul, got the bucket, and one coming. First team foul of the quarter on the Lady Hawks. That foul going to be on Evie Mast. That's her second personal foul. Good effort to get the ball inside to Maddie on that drive for Smithville. Showing her versatility as that 5'9 junior guard. Free throws up in the air going to be good. 69% free throw shooter. She buries it. Three points for her. 15 to 9 Highland. Lady Hawks basketball on the other end. Here's Ashley Bowles pass. Right post to Joplin Yoder. Double team. Her shot off the last going to be good. Good strength shown there by Joplin. She has five. 17 to 9 Highland. Smithville has the basketball. Just into the second. Singer across the timeline, guarded by Macy Mullet. Dribbles it out of the right wing. Singer backs it up high on the right. Now dribbles it near side. Bounce pass, fumbled. Grab now on the left side by Audrey Seidel. Gets the handoff. Drive by Singer to the foul circle. Back to the corner now, received by Naomi Kive. Goes out top of the pass to Singer. Her three-pointer is high in the air, going to be knocked down. Oh, my. She can do it from there also, I guess. Absolutely. Stepped into one. 17-12 Highland. And that three-point basket by Maddie Singer. Highland basketball. Ashley Mullis pass to Yoder. Back to Mullet. Her three-pointer is going to be good. Ashley has developed such a quick release from outside. Her second three-pointer. Eight points Ashley Mullet. 20-12 lead for Highland. Mullet coming in. Averaging 19 points per game. Smithville basketball. Singer to the front court. Dribbles at right wing. Picks it up. Bounce pass out top goes to Numi Kai, dumps it inside, goes to Cameron Wickens, her layup off the last and good. Yeah, they had the mismatch and a good recognition by Smithville. Wickens has her first two, 20 to 14 Highland. Here's Ashley Bullen out top. On the left wing, the Trish Troyer. Inside Joplin Yoder, spins around, her layup off the last and good. Back and forth we go now. Joplin now has seven, and 6.09 to play in the second. It's going to be a timeout, I believe, on the floor. 22 14 Highland. This is girls high school basketball on WKLM. Denco Marketing of Millersburg has customers in all 50 states, Canada, and South America. Each day, over 300 shipments of garage door parts are shipped to customers everywhere by Denco Marketing. And while Denco Marketing appreciates this wide and varied market in the country and in the world, the thing they appreciate most is where they are located, home. That's why they support various community activities and devote as much attention to here as to there. At Denco Marketing, the most important business at hand is the business of home. Reminder to simply pull in, remain in your vehicle, and let the experienced crew provide a quality, convenient oil change with no appointment needed at Southside Quick Lube. And while you're there, ask about the Starbright Unlimited Car Wash Plan and take care of the outside of your vehicle as well. Done fast, done right, and you're back on the road. Southside Quick Lube, State Route 83 in Millersburg. Smithville has the basketball out of the timeout. Singer has it out top. Bounce pass on the right point goes to Seidel. And pass inside. Going to be a little elbow being thrown. Trying to establish position inside the paint. He'll be slapped on, I believe, at Naomi Kime. Yeah, they got her. Her and Joplin continue to battle down the paint. Joplin hit the floor, and they got Kime on the foul. And Kime has her first. First team foul on Smithville. Highland has the ball and an eight-point lead. Ashley Mullet passed inside the Joplin Yoder, backs it in, had Faker layup off last, is no good, gets her own rebound, and puts it back up, it's going to be no good. Rebound finally grabbed by Naomi Kybe. Smithies basketball, Singer to the front court, dribbles it, picks it up. Right of the foul line, the camera Wickens, she'll back it in. Wickens to the right post, spins around, her layup off the last, no good. Rebound, chased down by Macy Mullet. Now to Ashley for Highland across the timeline. Into the corner, Tori Weaver. Weaver to the baseline, dumps it inside, and stolen away by Wickens. Weaver got her hand back on the basketball, though, and ties it up. Here it does point to Smithville, but again, you love the hustle. How about Tori Weaver come here and tying that up? She did a great job on the defensive end down there, too, against Cameron Wickens, the 5'10 forward. Certainly did. Reminder to stay tuned later on tonight for High School Scoreboard on WKLM, brought to you by Home Siding Contractors. Kenny Howe reporting all the area basketball scores for you all the way until midnight. Smithville has the basketball. Cameron Wickens across the timeline. And what? A whistle being blown? Yeah, Brady Slayball is asking for them to take a look at Tori Weaver. She kind of holding her left arm a little. So she'll have to check out. And Trish Troyer will check in for her. 
Cameron Wickens to inbound it at side court now for Smithville. Lobs it to the corner. Pass goes inside and grabbed in there by Naomi Kaiben. She'll be fouled. Yeah, they got Ellie Habagger on the foul. He got caught on the back there and she reached around. Second team foul on Highland. And for Habagger, that'll be her first personal foul. Inbounded out top. Grabbed again by Naomi Kaiben. Back to the corner now. Received by Allie Wickens. Back to Kaib. Grabs it back out top. A three-pointer by Leah Kaib. Going to be no good. Rebound. Chase down to the corner. Grabbed by Trish Troyer. Highland basketball. But ball knocked down to the floor. Diving after it. Ashley Moa as well as Cameron Wickens. And a held ball arrow points to Highland. Yeah, Highland will keep it here. But I'll tell you, Smithville continues to battle here. They're playing extremely hard out there, Matt. Both teams certainly going at it tonight in this first half. As expected. Five minutes to play in the second quarter. Highland basketball. Ashley Mullis pass goes out top to Troyer. Dribbles it. Lobs it right corner. Nobody there, but finally tracked down by Ashley Mullet. Her three-pointer is going to be no good. Rebound deflected. Grabbed by Mullet. Highland still has it. Mullet on the left wing. Dribbles it out top. Crossover. Back to the corner. Three-pointer by Trish Troyer is going to be no good. Rebound to the four. Rolls out of bounds. That'll be off of Highland. So Smithville will have it on the team rebound. After the game, we'll be announcing the Six Monies player of the game. Known for their super soft style, Six Monies can outfit your entire family for any sporting event. Stay up to date with their latest offerings on Facebook and Instagram and shop online at sixmonies.com. Six Monies, where quality and service never go out of style. Smithville basketball to the front court. Singer dribbles it out top. Back near midcourt. Shovel pass goes to the right wing. Proceed now by Allie Wickens. The handoff back to Singer. Singer holds on to it. Now dribbles it out top, pass inside to Cameron Wickens, her layup off the glass and good. Wickens is really strong in the post. Four points, Cameron Wickens makes it a six-point ball game. Highland up 22-16, four minutes to play in the half. Into the front court for Highland, is Stutzman out top, Ashley Mullet. Left wing now to Trish Troyer. On the right point, Joplin Yoder now, dribbles it out top. Spins around, shovels it down to Ashley Mullet high on the right side, and she'll call out the play. Mullet near midcourt, now to Stutzman. Left wing to Macy Mullet to Joplin Yoder. Dumps inside to Stutzman. Her shot is oh, off the last and good. Great execution by Highland. Joplin Yoder on the assist. Stutzman has her first two. 24-16 Highland. Smithies basketball. Here's Cameron Wickens across the timeline. Dribbles the right wing. Takes it out top against Ashley Mullet. Now back to the corner. Dribble and the pass goes out top by Allie Wickens. Left wing the Singer. Singer to the foul line. Gets the handoff. And the dribble to the left point by Leah Kai. Kicks the left wing to Cameron Wickens. She'll track it back down. Wickens to the foul line. Spins around. Kicks the right wing to Singer. Singer to the baseline. She'll be cut off. Cross court pass. Receiving a three pointer up in the air. Going to be no good by Naomi Kai. Rebound Joplin Yoder. Highland basketball. Here's Ashley Mullet. Dribbles it across the timeline. Back to the corner to Trish Troyer. Her three pointer going to be no good. Missed everything. Rebound to Leah Kai. The sophomore gets it out top. Her pass front court goes to Cameron Wickens. Wickens to the corner, backs it in, picks it up. Now to uh, Leah Kaib, back out top to Allie Wickens. On the left wing, now over to Naomi Kaib. Three quarters to the corner by Singer, in and out, no good. Rebound to the four, going to be a loose ball foul call. Great box out inside by Ashley Mullet, and Leah Kaib went over her back. Yeah, Ashley Mullet did a great job. Definitely give up the size advantage there, but Ashley Mullet's a little tired right now. She should be. She's really exuding herself on the defensive end. No doubt. Second personal on Leah Kaib, second team foul on Smithville and out there Ashley Mullet along with Ellie Hamburger on the four for Highland Evie Mast and Trish Troyer and Joplin Yoder for the Lady Hawks two and a half to play second quarter Ashley Mullet to the front court up 24-16 her pass inside going to be thrown away that's a turnover the third on Highland into the front court here's Leah Kai for Smithville Pass inside, deflected, out of bounds by Habberger. It'll stay with Smithville. Yeah, good defensive recovery there by Elliott. Knock out of bounds. 2-10 to play in the half. Cameron Wickens to inbound. She does so out top. Goes to Naomi Kibe. Dumps it inside now to Wickens. Backs it in back to Kibe. Back to Wickens. And forced pass grabbed by Cameron Wickens somehow. Her shot going to be blocked by Joplin Yoder. Rebound goes to Ashley Mola. Into the front court. Now to Evie Mast. Mast to the corner. And going to be... A double dribble call, I believe. Yeah, she turned it over there on her hip. So Highland has their fourth turnover. Mallory Stussman checking in for Joplin Yoder. Well, you mentioned some players uh, hands on their hips, so that's because they're playing really, really hard. Yeah, there's some fatigue out there, and they should be fatigued. Both of these teams, both sides, Matt, they are just, this defensive intensity has been impressive tonight. Yes, it has. 
Under two minutes to play in the half. 24-16 Highland. Reminder, this game is being video live streamed on the WKLM YouTube page. We're also on FM 95.3 and WKLMFM.com. McRoy alongside Troy Fritz for the broadcast tonight. Smithville has the basketball. Under the basket, the Cameron Wickens goes out of bounds, and that will be a turnover, the seventh on the Smithies. Yeah, another good ball to dial inside by Highland, just closing off the passing lanes. Macy Mullet in as well as Joplin Yoder. Ashley Mullet will finally get that well-deserved rest as well as uh, checking out will be Macy Miller. Yeah, Macy Miller come in, gave him a few good quality seconds off the bench. 140 to play in the half, Highland ball. Macy Mullet's pass goes right wing to Joplin Yoder. Dribbles it to the baseline, backs it in, spins around, kicks it right wing to Macy Mullet. Her shot from the baseline, high in the air, going to be no good. Missed everything, goes out of bounds. It'll be off of Habiger's hands, and Smithville will have the ball. 24-16, Highland with the advantage. One and a half to play, second quarter. Embatted to Maddie Singer. Dribbles it against Mast in the backcourt. Singer now across the timeline. Takes it left wing. Spins around out top. On the right wing, Cameron Wickens. Picks it up. Goes out top of the pass down to Audrey Seidel. Back in the corner now to Allie Wickens. Drive. Lane. Her layup left hand off the glass. No good. Rebound. Fought for it. to grab by Allie Wickens. She'll grab it, but she also throws it away. Highland basketball. Here's Stutzman to the front court. Picks it up. That was the eighth Smithville turnover. Dropping the order for a three-pointer. Going to be in and out. No good. Rebound corralled by Naomi Kime. Smithville basketball. Allie Wickens to the front court. Drive to the lane. Kicks it left wing. Back over to Naomi Kime. Back in the right corner, received by Seidel. 40 seconds to play in the half. Now top to Allie Wickens. Thought about it, now dribbles it. Picks it up. Looking, pass to the far side, Cameron Wickens. Dumps it right post, deflected out of bounds. That'll be off of Stutzman's hands. Yeah, good job there by Miles. Kybe had a little bit of an opening there on the inside. Ashley Mullen now checking back in for Evie Mast. And also Trish Troyer is checking in for Highland. And show her place, Macy Mullen. Smith felt to win bound beneath their own backboard. And bat on the back inside the paint to Cameron Wickens. Her shot left hand is going to be no good. Rebound goes to Trish Troyer. Rebound actually stolen away after that by Cameron Wickens. So the rebound then the turnover. Highland has their fifth. And Adler Smith, he's had it with 18 seconds to play in the half. Near midcourt here, Singer with the dribble. Takes it right wing. Singer backs it up. Eight seconds. Goes out top with it. Pass by Cameron Wickens, goes inside to Naomi Kibe, knocked out of bounds though, and it'll be Smithville basketball with 4.4 seconds to go. Yeah, good job in the double team there. Ashley Mullet sagged and got the front defense on Kibe. Macy Mullet is in, Trish Troyer checking out. In bat into the corner. Here's Singer, right wing, three-pointers up in the air, going to be partially blocked, rebound Stutzman, and then it will close out the first half of action. Halftime score from the Berkey Fieldhouse, Highland 24 and Smithville 16. Back around the recap, the first half for you after this on WKLM. Everyone knows that Mellersburg Tire Service sells a lot of farm tires like BKT, Seat, Firestone, Michelin, Titan, Galaxy, D-Stone, and Lions. Hi, this is Brad Smucker from Mellersburg Tire Service, and we also sold over 10,000 heavy-duty truck tires last year in 29 different brands. We can mount them in our truck bay, or we can drop them off. If it runs on tires, Mellersburg Tire Service has it, or we can get it from the many suppliers that we have available. Plus, we sell tires in Ohio and all the surrounding states. When you want the best, call Mellersburg Tire Service at 330-674-1085 and talk to one of our knowledgeable sales staff celebrating our 70th year in the tire business. At Home Siding Contractors, our mission is to give homeowners a quality product. Whether it's our vinyl siding or our energy efficient replacement windows and doors, Home Siding Contractors is ready to turn your home into one of your biggest energy saving assets. You'll notice the difference as your home will stay warmer in the winter and cooler in the summer. Call 888-725-6619 for a in-home estimate or find all of our products at homesiding.com. And I'm alongside Scott Rohde from Rohde's IGA, and they're helping you get ready for this. Hold on. Wait a minute, Matt. I'm pretty sure we're not allowed to say that. What are you talking about, Scott? You mean I can't say this Sunday is this? No, we can't say that. It's copyrighted. All right, now I get it. 
But I can say that Roadies IGA has all the items you need for your big game parties this Sunday, right? Sure can, and great sale prices, too. All right, stop in now through Sunday and get ready for the... S Matt, not again. Sorry, I mean the big game at Roadies IGA Marketplace in Millersburg. Call Berlin Heating and Cooling, your Ream Pro partner, and you know you're calling the very best. Berlin Heating and Cooling services and installs Ream and all other types of furnaces and equipment. Berlin Heating and Cooling, they're your local team you can trust. Call them today at 330-893-3057. That's 330-893-3057. Are you having ongoing issues with your flat or low slope roof? MEB Systems of Sugar Creek specializes in flat or low slope roofs and has been serving the community and beyond since 1977. Whether it's tracking down or resolving a persistent leak, you are in need of a complete roof replacement, or you have a new build, MEB Systems will strive to find the best solution for you. They believe if a job is worth doing, it's worth doing right. Call MEB Systems Incorporated today at 330-852-4333 and visit them online at mebsystems.com. MEB Systems wishes all Holmes County athletes a safe and healthy season. Are you looking for a bank that understands your local needs? Look no further than Kilbuck Savings Bank. We're your neighbors, your friends, and your partners in financial success. At Kilbuck Savings Bank, we pride ourselves on offering personalized service tailored to you. We are a community bank that is large enough to help you achieve your goals while continuing to care about the communities we serve. We wish all teams the best of luck this season. KSB, a Bauer five-star financial rated bank. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Scoring Highland 10 to nine in a tightly contested second quarter. The Highland has that eight point halftime lead, 24 to 16. Lead of the way for Highland, Ashley Mullet in the first half. Mullet was two for three on three point tries, one for four from two point range. Ashley Mullet had eight first half points. Joplin Yoder in that first half. She was solid going to 0 for 1 on three point tries, but 3 for 5 from two point range and 1 for 1 for the foul line. Joplin Yoder had seven. Also, three points for Evie Mast and two points apiece for Mallory Stutzman, Trish Troyer, and Tori Weaver, running out the Highland total of 24. For Smithville, leading the way, that was Maddie Singer as the guard went one for three on three point tries, one for one from two point range, one for one for the foul line as well. Singer had six first half points. Also, four points apiece for Naomi Kybe and Cameron Wickens. Two points scored by Allie Wickens, running out the Smithies total of 16. Halftime score, Highland 24, Smithville 16. Now for the first half team numbers, here's Troy Fritz. Thank you very much, Matt. For Highland in that first half, they would go 3 of 10 behind the arc for 30%. Highland or Smithville would go just 1 of 7. From two-point range, it'll be Highland going 6 of 14, good for 43%, while the Lady Smithies would go 6 of 12, good for 50%. Both teams perfect at the free throw line. Smithville 1 of 1, Highland would go 3 of 3. Rebounding advantage goes to Highland. They grab 17 in the first half to 10 for Smithies. And Smithville will commit eight turnovers to Highland's five in the first half. Individual rebounding leaders for Highland. Three boards for Mallory Stutzman in that first half. And two boards apiece. Actually, three rebounds also for Trish Troyer in that first half. And for Smithville, leading the way, three rebounds for Allie Wickens in that first half of action. 24-16 lead for Highland. Again, two great defenses on display in that first half, Troy. Well, there's nothing fancy going on out here tonight, Matt. This is just two good teams with two with a lot of good athletes, and they're rolling up their sleeves and playing a lot of defense against each other. I don't I don't think we're going to see any zones tonight, Matt. <laughs> These teams are coming out here and they're going out of nose to nose, and it's been a good one. No question about that. And maybe a big difference in that first half were two players, Joplin Yoder doing what she was able to do, and of course Ashley Mullen. Well, we talked about Joplin. I think they forgot to feed her between before the game because <laughs> she's playing a little bit of an attitude out there tonight. But I mean, it's been a battle down the post. You're watching away from the ball. You know, Kai and and and, and Joplin are down there just banging pretty hard at it, but Joplin's had a strong first half, and Ashley, what do you say? Ashley is Ashley. She's playing her game. You know, she's so good on the offensive end, but her defense is what really impresses me. Her her quickness. Her quickness has been on another level this year. Not just her feet, but her hands. I mean, she's got hand speed that I think Mike Tyson will be je jealous of. <laughs> just amazing. No yeah, question about that. No doubt. Halftime score, Highland 24, Smithville 16, back after this for the second half on WKLM. Broman & Byler in Millersburg is a local full-service accounting firm. Hello, this is John Byler. We offer a complete range of services from tax, 
business and estate planning to bookkeeping and payroll services. When choosing a financial advisor at tax time, choose Broman and Byler at 161 North Washington Street in Millersburg. You can reach us at 330-674-8222. Get your vehicle back on the road smooth and problem-free with Village Motors Collision Center. Hi, this is Deke Miller, and our Collision Center works on all makes and models and has available deductible assistance, along with loaner and rental vehicles available for your use, complimentary oil change packages, not to mention that we are the preferred repair shop for most insurance companies. Ask us about our cleanup packages with four great packages from basic to premium by appointment only starting at $19.95. For collision repair, make your first stop at Village Motors in Millersburg. MRV Siding Supply is introducing another line of stone called Casa di Sassi, where old world charm meets modern luxury. Whether you're looking to enhance your outdoor space or add a touch of sophistication to your interior design, their wide range of products will meet your every need. Choose from a variety of styles and colors to create the perfect ambiance for your space. Casa di Sassi, where timeless beauty meets exceptional quality. Discover the possibilities at MRV Siding Supply on County Road 624 in Millersburg or on the web at mrvsiding.com. Get your siding supplies from the Siding Guys, MRV Siding Supply. Are you ready to tackle home improvement with the winning team? Look no further than Wayne Door, your MVP for all things doors and windows. Score big with their championship lineup, garage doors, openers, entry and storm doors, windows, patio doors, and more. Just like a winning play, Wayne Door offers an unbeatable sales team, flawless installation, and game-changing service. Their local experts ensure you're always in the lead. Don't settle for anything less. Visit them today at WayneDoor.com or stop by their showroom and elevate with your home improvement game with the experts. Wayne Door, people you can trust since 1973. Taking on a large exterior home project is no small task. When you're looking for the best options in roofing, siding, windows, and doors, Provia products are the clear choice. At Provia, quality is engineered into the product, integrity is never compromised, and local craftsmanship delivers a stunning final result that will last for generations. Our experts at Kime Home Center are here to help you explore the possibilities. Visit Kime in Charm, Ohio. Kime, built on trust since 1911. Did you know that one of the nation's top hospitals was founded right here in Holmes County? It's true. Pomerine Hospital was recently named the top 20 rural and community hospital by the National Rural Health Association. For 75 years, Pomerine has applied the latest medical expertise to meet the unique needs of our community. And today, they continue to lead the way in reliable patient outcomes, from outpatient services to life-saving surgeries. Learn more about the many ways Pomerine provides award-winning care right in your backyard. Visit pomerinehospital.org. Just a reminder, we are video live streaming tonight's contest on the WKLM YouTube page, courtesy of our partnership with Claxton Communications. Casey Claxton is producing tonight's live stream coverage. Carson's all are working the cameras, and you can go to YouTube, search WKLM Radio, and to find the Highland Smithville live stream for tonight's game. We're also, of course, on FM 95.3 and WKLMFM.com. Kenna Howell working the controls back at the studio uh, for the broadcast tonight. Matt Croy alongside Troy Fritz for the broadcast as we begin the start of the second half. And... We'll see who's going to hand the ball first as we get things going. Highland Simpson came in with that record of 12-6. and six. Highland, a record of 17-2, and two, and this game has not disappointed so far. No, it's been a really good game here, and I think both teams are getting what they want out of this matchup. Cameron Wickens announced it for Smithville, who will have the ball first, going from left to right. Matty Spinger now has it in the front court. Bounce pass goes to Wickens on the right wing. Picks it up. Looking, no dribble. Their pass goes to the corner now, finally the singer. On the right post goes over to Naomi Kaib. She'll bank it in. Well, they went right at her. Kaib, nice strong move. She has six points. 24-18 Highland. They'll have the ball now going from right to left in the second half. Ashley Mullet has it out top. Coles out to play. Well, starts at it down to the right wing. Shovels it out top. The Stutzman, her three-pointer is going to be no good. Rebound will be corralled inside by Maddie Singer. Smithville basketball down by six early in the third quarter to the front court now to Allie Wickens back in the left wing to Cameron Wickens gets it out top to Allie dribbles it down to the right wing gets the handoff now on the dribble out top by Naomi Kime to Cameron Wickens 
She'll pick it up too soon. Looking. Bounce pass goes to the corner to Maddie Singer. Singer to the baseline. Her layup going to be off the last and good. Nice strength and quickness by Maddie Singer. She has eight points now. A four-point ball game. Highland ball. Bullets pass inside the Joplin Yoder. Her shot up going to be knocked down. Nice shoulder check by Joplin to find the defender. That's a good move. Nine points Joplin Yoder. 26-20 Highland. Smithville basketball. 6.45 to play in the third quarter. Allie Wickens dribbles it out top. Working against Trish Troyer. Bounce pass to the left wing. Cameron Wickens holds onto it. And gets a pass off top of the key to Naomi Kive. Her three-pointer is high in the air. Going to be knocked down. The answer. Naomi Kive now has five of the quarter. Nine for the ball game. 26-23 Highland. Pass by Mullet inside Joplin Yoder. And she'll be fouled right away. Hand on her back by Audrey Seidel. Listen, Smithville's well aware of where Joplin's at. They're putting a body on her at all times. They're really giving her the fits down there. Really are doing what they can. Second personal in Seidel. First, pers- uh, first team foul in Smithville. As Evie Mast will check out. Macy Mullen in. Inbound to Joplin Yoder. Her shot no good off the inbounds pass. Rebound to Cameron Wickens. Smithville basketball. To the front court, here's Maddie Singer. Dribbles it out top, spins around against Macy Mullet to the right wing, gets the handoff. Dribble by Cameron Wickens to the paint, spins around, right post, shovels it out top. Dribble now by Audrey Seidel. Drive, run by Seidel, left hand, no good. Rebound, fought four, and going to be grabbed by Cameron Wickens, and she's going to be fouled. First team foul on Highland coming in this third quarter. Call that on Joplin Yoder. That'll be her second. Yeah, Smithville's come out of locker room with a little bit of purpose here in this third period. Certainly have. In batted out top. Grabbed by Audrey Seidel. Dumps it inside. Deflected on the four. Stolen away. Ashley Willis pass goes to Stutzman. She'll grab it. Lay it by Stutzman. Off the last. No good, though. Rebound grabbed by Allie Wickens. They'll dodge the bullet after Smithville committed their ninth turnover of the game. The Highland does not convert. Smithies basketball. Singer across the timeline. Five and a half to play third quarter. Singer top of the key. Now to the right point. Still with it. Shovels a pass to the left point to Allie Wickens. Back in the quarter. Three-pointer up there. Going to be no good by Seidel. Rebound grabbed by Ashley Mullen. Highland ball. Mullet to the front court. Pass inside Joplin Yoder. Back to Ashley Mullet. Her three-pointer going to be no good. Rebound to Joplin Yoder. Yoder rips it away. And what? Going to be a held ball. And the arrow does point to Highland. Yeah, actually, or Allie Wiggins got her hands in there to tie that one up. Ellie Hamburger will check in. Trish Troyer, Joplin Yoder both checking out for Highland. Evie Mass back in as well. And also Leah Kaim checking in, replacing Audrey Seidel for Smithville. Highland to inbound. Hamburger's pass to the corner goes to Macy Mullet. Now to Ashley on the right wing. Dribbles into the foul line. 15 footer up in the air by Ashley Mullet. Going to be knocked down. Did a great job creating space with the step back jumper. And 10 points down for Ashley Mullet. 28 23 Highland. Five minutes to go, third quarter. Smithville basketball. Allie Wickens with it high on the left. Dribbles it out top. On the right wing, the singer. Her three pointer up in the air. Going to be no good. Left her wide open, but Highland dodged the bullet. Rebound grabbed by Leah Kybe. And now stolen away by Macy Mullet. Highland ball the other way. The handoff, Ashley Mullet, three-pointer by Ashley, no good. Rebound, however, grabbed by Haviger. Three-pointer now by Stussman, going to be no good. Rebound grabbed by Macy Mullet. Now to Ashley on the left wing. Highland still with the basketball. Ashley backs it up out top. Now to the foul line, into the corner. To Macy Mullet, her three-pointer going to be no good. Rebound finally grabbed by Smithville's Allie Wickens. Smithies basketball, down by five. Drive, lane, layup by Singer is good. Nice drive, coast to coast. 10 points, Singer, timeout called, 4-14 to play in the third. Highland 28, Smithville 25. This is Girls High School Basketball on WKLM. Hi, I'm Eugene with Yoder Family Roofing and Spouting. We are located in Millersburg, Ohio, and have been serving our community for the past 25 years. When was the last time you thought about having your roof inspected or spouting cleaned? You can find us online at yoderfamilyroofing.com or by giving us a call or text at 330-695-3000. Again, that's 330-695-3000 for all your roofing and spouting needs. Valentine's Day isn't that far away. Stop by the jewelry store for a set of sterling silver earrings, necklaces, or a shiny new ring, and get a great selection of watches for the guys, too. Shop for Valentine's Day at the jewelry store, 97 West Jackson Street in Millersburg. It'll be Highland basketball out of the timeout. They have a three-point lead midway point now of the third quarter. Bass pass, Trish Troyer left wing out top, Joplin Yoder. 
Yoder to the foul line. Max into the right post. Falls down, but that's because she was tripped by Audrey Seidel, says the official. Yeah, tough call. The Smithville fans didn't like it, but there was some contact there. This official's done a great job tonight with this game. Really has. Third personal on Seidel, second team foul on the Smithies. In battle to the corner of the Joplin Yoder. Yoder backs into the baseline. Right post, knocked loose. She'll track it back down to the corner. Good defense by Seidel. Absolutely. And finally a reach-in foul, though, and that's not what you want there because Seidel's going to get slapped now with her fourth personal foul. Yeah, that's a tough one there. Did a great job in defense till that last little reach, and that got her. Third team foul the Smithies, and Seidel, of course, will have to check out. Allie Wickens will check in. Habiger will have a seat. Trish Troyer back into the ball game along with Evie Mass, Joplin Yoder, Mallory Stutzman, and Ashley Mullen. Out top the Stutzman, now the Ashley Mullen. Drive, lane, shot left hand, no good. Rebound, knocked to the floor, out of bounds off of Smithville. Highland will keep it. 3.47 to play third quarter. Highland is up 28-25, and they had the basketball. Ashley Mullen into the quarter to Joplin Yoder. Her pass deflected and stolen away. Highland has their sixth turnover. Smithies basketball. Here's Cameron Wickens to the front court. Hands it off to Maddie Singer. Has it near midcourt. Singer dribbles it. Bounce pass. Cameron Wickens now on the right wing. Out top, Leah Kive to Cameron Wickens. Dumps it inside. Grab now by Allie Wickens to the right post. Back in the corner to Singer. Her three pointer going to be knocked down. Bingo. Tied up. How about that? Big quarter, Maddie Singer, now seven points in the third. Drive, pass to the quarter to Trish Troyer for Highland. Now top to Stutzman, her three-pointer going to be good. The answer. Mallory Stutzman, her first three-pointer tonight comes at a good time. Five points for Stutzman, 31-28 Highland. Three minutes to play in the third. Smithville basketball, Singer dribbles the left wing. Bounce pass to the corner, nobody there. Miscommunications, the 11th Smithville turnover. Yeah, great defense out there by Evie Mash caused that turnover. Stay tuned tonight for High School Scoreboard on WKLM, brought to you by Home Siding Contractors. We'll have all the area scores for you all the way until midnight. Highland basketball. Ashley Mullet to the right wing. Dribbles it now, pass out top to Stutzman. Dribbles it left side. Back out top, grabbed by Ashley Mullet. Dumps it inside, Joplin Yoder to the right post. Yoder shot up, going to be no good. Great defense again, rebound grabbed by Maddie Singer. That time was Naomi Kybe defending her inside. Kybe's shaken up though at the end of that play. An official stopping play with the whistle. Well, no surprise there the way these girls are playing <laughs> here. Like, it's been clean, Matt, but it's been physical and it's been tough. They yeah, have been playing tough, no question about it. Like a tournament type of game. Oh, it is indeed here. It's been a well-played game both sides. Great athletes on the floor. And showing you how tough Kybe is, she's going to stay out there. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. She does not want to come out. I wouldn't either. Smith, though, has the ball. Two and a half to play third quarter. Singer's bounce pass goes to Naomi Kybe. Cross court pass to Cameron Wickens. Wickens dribbles it. Backs it in. Picks it up. Out top to Allie Wiggins. She'll dribble it. Gets the bounce pass to Singer. She'll reset the offense near midcourt. Singer now to the right wing. Pass to your side. Grabbed by Cameron Wiggins. Back to Singer in the corner. Dumps it inside now over to Naomi Kai. Early up high in the air. Missed everything. Rebound finally grabbed by Trish Troyer. Highland ball on a three-point lead. Ashley Mullet to the front court. 150 to play in the third. Mullet directing traffic. Now the Trish Troyer out top to Ashley Mullen. Mullet left wing. Pass inside, Joplin Yoder backs it in. Her shot up going to be no good, but a foul called. A little hesitation of the call, and they're going to call a blocking foul on that call. Yeah, that was, a, that was like a 50-50 there. Joplin was a little physical there, but there was body on the other side. If you're watching this game at home on YouTube, I mean, watch that battle down yes. low with, with Joplin Yoder and Kybe. It is a dandy. Yes, it is. Free throw up going to be good on the bounce. Kyber's second personal foul, by the way. 14 foul on Smithville. Joplin Yoder now up to 10 points. After the game, we'll be announcing the Six Monies player of the game. Look them up on Facebook and also on the web, sixmoneys.com. And free throw good as well by Joplin Yoder. She now has 11. 33-28 lead for Highland, and Joplin Yoder will get a well-deserved rest. Yeah, she's three for three at the line, doing the job there as well. Five-point advantage for Highland. One and a half to play, third quarter. Smithville has the basketball. Singer at three-quarters court, and she'll be fouled a little too close. Defensively was Macy Mullet with that foul. Yeah, all these players are playing hard. Macy Mullet, the freshman, coming in for Highland here, doing her part. Her first personal, second team foul on the Lady Hawks in the third. 
in batted to Singer again. Singer dribbles it across midcourt, bounce pass, corralled by Cameron Wickens. Back in the left wing, Allie Wickens goes out top of the pass to Maddie Singer. Her three-pointer going to be no good, missed everything that time. Goes out of bounds, and it will be Highland with the basketball. 1.17 to play in the third. Again, this game being video live streamed on the WKLM YouTube page. We're also on FM 95.3 and WKLMFM.com. Matt Croy alongside Troy Fritz for the broadcast this evening. And Highland has the ball. Stutzville on the left wing goes out top. Stutzman to Macy Mullet. Now to Trish Troyer. Left wing to Ashley Mullet. Her three-pointer going to be off the mark. Rebound will be grabbed inside by Leah Kybe. Under a minute to play, third quarter. Smithy's basketball. Singer on the right wing. Singer dribbles it, picks it up, pass inside, is stolen away by Ashley Mullen. The 12th Smithville turnover, ball pass to the front court to Haberger. She gets called for the stutter steps. And that's the 7th turnover on Highland. Well, she got a little bit excited because she saw Mouse Duth when yes. filling that lane on the left that she just drug her foot. 42 seconds to play in the third. Is it'll be Faith Linghacker, 5'7", freshman, checking in for the Smithies. In batted and grabbed by Cameron Wickens for Smithville. She'll dribble it across the timeline. Again, working against Ashley Bullitt. Poke loose. Bullitt going in for the steal. Rolls out of bounds. It'll be a blocking foul going to be the call. On who? If they're going to get that on. Yeah, they got it on Smithville. Huh. Wickens. How about that? So, steal on the foul. The 15th foul on Smithville. Cameron Wickens has her third personal foul and also their 13th turnover. Just great defense by Ashley Moore. Yeah, kind of a tough call there in a loose ball situation, but yeah. great defense by Ashley, as you said, Matt. Double bonus situation. Moore at the foul line. She'll knock down the first free throw. She now has 11 points tonight. 33 seconds to play. 34-28 lead for Highland. Second free throw's up. Going to be good. Buries them both. 12 points for Ashley Mullet. 35-28, Highland a seven-point lead. Smithville basketball into the front court pass. Grabbed on the left wing, almost thrown away, but grabbed by Aaliyah Kime. Out top to Cameron Wickens. Back in the left wing. Proceed now by Allie Wickens. Back in the corner to Leah Kime. And a foul called, I believe, inside, defending that Nia, Naomi Kime inside for the paint for Highland. Well, Kime's going to try and take advantage of this here because Joplin Yitter's on the bench taking a breather, so she's got a little bit of a mismatch with Ellie Habagger. Second personal on Habagher and 13 foul on Highland. Inbounded out top goes to Naomi Kime. Three-pointer by Kime up in the air. Going to be short. Rebound to the four. Going to be fought for and tied up. Arrow going to point to Smithville. So they'll keep it now with 11 and a half seconds to play. And to win down will be Cameron Wickens beneath their own backboard. Her pass goes out top now to Allie Wickens. Back in the corner. Three-pointer actually passed inside. Instead goes over to Neely Kybe. She lost it out of bounds, and that will be a turnover of the 14th on the Smithies. Yeah, she found herself a little bit more open than she thought. Just lost it out of bounds. Joplin Yoder in now for Ellie Habiger. Five and a half seconds to play third quarter. And batted by Stutzman goes to Ashley Mullet. Mullet across the timeline to the right wing. Her shot for the foul line is going to be no good. Rebound put back by Joplin Yoder is going to be good. Count that bucket for Joplin Yoder. How about that coming off the bench? At the end of three, Highland 37 and Smithville 28. This is girls high school basketball on WKLM. Critchfield Law Firm has always been dedicated to providing the highest quality legal services to their clients throughout Holmes County and surrounding areas. Critchfield Law Firm also understands the dedication of our youth. From the classroom to the music room to athletics, Holmes County's best is represented in every academic area. Critchfield Law Firm in Millersburg, wishing all who participate the best in their endeavors. Whatever Mother Nature has in store, you're not worried because you've got Yokohama's Geolander AT G015 on your side. Stop by Holmes Tire LLC to find out what a new set of all-terrain tires can do for your truck or SUV. This tire is all traction designed to take you from the pavement to the trail in any weather, anytime you want. Discover the Yokohama Geolander AT G015 and get ready to experience what all-terrain is all about. Stop by Holmes Tire LLC today and fill out a finance application for approval with no credit needed on new tire purchases. Call Holmes Tire LLC in Miller's 330-674-0025 or their other locations in Spencer, Mount Vernon, and now open in Loudonville. 
Highland out scoring Smithville 13-12 in that third quarter of play. Already for the start of the fourth quarter of action. And Highland has the basketball. Pass goes left wing to Mallory Stutzman. Stutzman holds on to it. Shovels it out top to Ashley Mullet. Her three-pointer is going to be no good. Rebound going to be grabbed by Maddie Singer. Smithville basketball the other way. Pass inside. Going to be Corral. Layup is going to be good by Allie Wickens. Wickens has four. Her second bucket. 37-30 Highland. And again, some... Uh, Physical battle inside between John Pleuter continues along with uh, Naomi Kybe this time. There's a foul that's going to be called on Kybe, I believe. I'm sure those two know each other, but if you didn't know that, I'd think they wouldn't like each other, man. No doubt. I think they're going to call, they call foul both ways. Oh, I think they did. Probably the right call. Yeah. So Kybe third, and third personal on John Pleuter as well. Highland ball. Stutzman inbounds it. Her shot, uh, a shot by Allie, Ashley Mullet, no good from the foul circle. Rebound grab under the basket by Stutzman. Her putback can be good with the left hand. Mallory Stutzman with the putback. She has seven. Yeah, big offensive board for Mal. 39-30 Highland. Smithville basketball. Here's Singer with the left wing. Dribbles it to the foul line. Singer backs it up. Back in the left wing, three-pointer up in the air by Allie Wickens. It's going to be no good. Rebound, however, chased down to the corner. Grabbed by Cameron Wickens. No, that's out of bounds. Third quarter numbers, courtesy of Troy Fritz. Highland was one of five on three-point tries for 20%. Smithville two for six for 38%. Highland two for nine from two-point range, just 18% shooting in the third. Smithville three of five for 60%. Highland four four for the foul line. Smithies did not attempt the foul shot. Highland ball, three-pointer by Matt Royce. This one going to be no good. Rebound to the fort, grabbed by Macy Mullen. Highland still with the ball. Ashley Bullet try. Back to the corner. A wide open Trish Troyer. Her three pointer is no good, though. Rebound going to be grabbed by Naomi Kive and be a foul called, I believe, on Macy Bullet after she got that rebound. Also in the third, each team had eight rebounds. Six turnovers for Smithville, two turnovers for Highland in that third quarter of play. Second personal on Macy Mullet, two team fouls on Highland so far in this, third, in this uh, fourth quarter. Smithville has the ball down by nine. Into the front court, Cameron Wickens out top. Pass goes to the left wing, the Singer. Singer to the baseline. Her layup going to be no good, but she was hacked on the arm. And under the basket, the foul going to be slapped on Macy Mullet, her third personal. Yeah, Maddie Singer did a great job driving baseline left. She got a step on Macy Mullet, got her to commit the foul. Maddie Singer, 13 points tonight for the 5'9 junior. Again, averaging just under 10 points per game. Outstanding player. Yes, she is. Free throw knocked down, nothing but net. 39-31 Highland. As now Evie Mast is in, Macy Mullet will have a seat. Second free throw by Singer. That is up, and that is going to be good. Buries them both. 15 points, Matty Singer. Three for three from the line. 39-32 Highland. They had the ball. Ashley Mullet now to the front court. 6.20 to play in the fourth. To Joplin Yoder to the corner. Yoder drive. Lane, her runner up in the air, going to be good. That was a good take by Joplin. A little head fake into the floor she went. And she has 15. 41-32 Highland. Smithies basketball to the front court now. Allie Wickens with it high on the right. Dribbles it out top. Pass to Cameron Wickens. Into the corner now. Three-pointer goes up in the air by Naomi Kime. No good. Rebound the Stutzman. Highland basketball the other way. Ashley Willis pass goes to Joplin Yoder. Grabs it. And what? Going to be a travel call as she tried to grab it under the basket. Instead, the eighth Highland turnover. Yep, tried to plant that pivot foot and a little slide. She'll check out. And now in is Ellie Habiger. 41-32 Highland, six minutes to go. Smithville basketball, Cameron Wickens across the timeline. Working against Ashley Mullen. Bounce pass goes to the right wing, the side Singer. Singer holds onto it against Evie Mast. Pass to the right post goes to Cameron Wickens. Double team, and she'll be knocked to the four. Foul called on Habiger. And it'll be the 14th foul on Highland. It would be Habiger's third personal. Yeah, they continue to do battle with Naomi Kybe down there. A very physical presence down the post for Smith, an outstanding ball player. Yes, she is. They're going to call that instead on Trish Troyer, her first. Embedded to Allie Wickens for the right post inside goes to Naomi Kibe. Cross her pass to Singer to the corner. Her three pointer knocked down. Nice looking shot from the corner by Maddie Singer. Maddie Singer won a game tonight. 18 points now, 41 35 Highland. Timeout called. Five and a half to go. This is girls high school basketball on WKLM. 
Are you ready to accelerate towards your dreams with a new car, ATV, boat, or some extra cash for personal needs? This is Zach Deidinger, a banking center manager at the Commercial and Savings Bank, here to help you fund your next adventure. Our team of experts is committed to finding the right solution for you with competitive rates, flexible terms, and personalized service. Visit csb1.com to apply online or give us a call at 800-654-9015 to speak with a loan specialist and discover the CSB Advantage. The Commercial and Savings Bank. Relationships you can bank on. Member FDIC. The employees of Holmes Wayne Electric Cooperative work hard and wear many hats at the cooperative. But that dedication goes beyond providing power to keep the lights on. They also are very active in their communities. Some volunteer at their local church, others are coaching youth, and some giving back through working for their township or community board. So what makes this cooperative different? They focus on people. Holmes Wayne Electric, always here for their members, always here for their community. After the game, we'll be announcing the Six Bunnies player of the game. Six Bunnies is your one-stop shop for all things custom apparel. Stay up to date with their latest offerings on Facebook and Instagram and shop online at sixbunnies.com. Six Bunnies for quality and service never go out of style. Highland has the basketball. Ashley Mullen out top. Pass inside the chop of the owner, but well defended. It goes out of bounds. The Highland has their ninth turnover of the game. Yeah, that was a great job defense. They just didn't leave any room to drop that in there. It goes out of bounds. 5-17 to play. 41-35 Highland. Spithies had the ball. In the backcourt, Cameron Wickens dribbles it. Now across the timeline. Pass to the left wing. Grabbed by Naomi Kime. Out top to Cameron Wickens. Wickens dribbles the right point. Pass inside. Going to be grabbed now by Allie Wickens. Back in the corner. Three-pointer by Naomi Kime. It's going to be knocked down. Boy, she's good from outside as well. You don't want to leave her open. 12 points, Naomi Kime. That's her second three-pointer. 41-38 Highland. Lady Hawks basketball. Ashley Mullen out top. Now the Joplin Yoder. She'll dribble it back to Ashley Mullet, left wing. Inside the Joplin Yoder, her shot up going to be blocked, but a foul is called on the attempted block by Naomi Kybe. Yeah, Kybe was moving backwards a little bit, and that's the only thing that got her in trouble. If her feet were set, she would have drew the charge. And yeah, that's going to be a foul on her, I believe, going to be her fifth personal foul. I had her for four, but it looks like it's her fifth personal foul. Oh, well, that's a tough call there. Great game there by the six-foot senior. No doubt. So Leah Kai will check in for her, but the Kai, big loss. With 12 points, she'll foul out with 440 to play. She is a presence inside. My goodness. Joplin Yoder, meanwhile, is at the charity stripe. That free throw is up, going to be good. And now 16 points for Joplin Yoder tonight. Again, came in, averaging 11 and a half a game for the 5'11 junior. That free throw's up, going to be good as well. Five for five from the line. Still knocking down all those free throws. 43-38 Highland. Spithole has the basketball. Cameron Wickens dribbles it at three-quarter score. Now across the timeline. Pass pass to the right wing, the Singer. Singer holds onto it, now dribbles it to the baseline. Her shot up in the air, going to be in and out. No good, but she drew the foul on Evie Mast. 15th foul on Highland Mast as her third. Yeah, that was a great job there by Singer. Defending, taking the defender with her left hand, getting the shot with the right, creating space. That was well done. Yes, it was. Maddie Singer, good-looking basketball player. 18 points for her on the night. Looking to add on to that, and then that first free throw is no good. She'll have one more to go. 4.25 to play. Five-point lead for Highland right now. The second free throw is up. That's going to be good. 19 points, Maddie Singer. 43-39 Highland. Lady Hawks have it. Ashley Mullet to the front court. Has it out top. Now to the left wing. Into the corner to the Trish Troyer. Her three-pointer going to be no good. Rebound corralled by Allie Wickens. Smithies have it. Wickens to the front court. To the foul line. Now to the baseline. Back to the corner. Cameron Wickens now has it. Back to Allie to the right corner. She'll dribble it, crossover, lost the handle though, goes out of bounds, trying to move around Ashley Mullet instead, the 15th Smithville turnover. Highlands defense continues to deny the inside. Matt Quay alongside Troy Fritz for tonight's broadcast as we get to the midway point of the fourth quarter. Highland has the ball. Ashley Mullet out top, 43-39 Lady Hawks. Mullet slows the pace down for a moment. Near that midcourt line. Now dribbles it to the foul line. And going to be a foul called, a reach-in foul called. Third team foul called now on the Smithies. Yeah, and Smithville fans are looking for a turnover travel there on Ashley. They might have an argument. Right, and instead the fourth personal foul now on Cameron Wickens. So Highland to win midway into the front court on the far side. 
Stutzman's pass goes to Ashley Moe, double team. Now back to Stutzman, left wing to Trish Troyer. Dribbles it, her pass out top, stolen away. Into the front court on the fast break, drive. Scoop shot, Cameron Wickens, no good. Wild shot missed, rebound goes to Ashley Mullen. After Highland's 10th turnover, they'll dodge that bullet. But she'll throw it away on a cross court pass, stolen by Allie Wickens. Deflected, goes out of bounds off of Stutzman, and Smithville will have the basketball. What a good hustle play by Mallory Stutzman there to save the bucket for yes. Highland. And now Macy Mullen in, but not before her timeout. 319 to go, 43 to 39 Highland. This is girls high school basketball on WKLM. Resetting your password, unsubscribing from emails, printing anything. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with an auto owner's insurance independent agent, getting the right coverage for your business doesn't have to be one of them. So you can get back to more important things, like learning how that printer works. That's simple human sense. Visit Hummel Group in Berlin, Mansfield, Newark, Orville, and Worcester, or online at HummelGRP.com. A single-family home located at 5181 Eagle Drive in Millersburg is listed for sale by Kaufman Realty and Auctions with an asking price of $450,000. This property was built in 2017 and has three bedrooms and two full baths with 1,713 square feet. Located in the Hawks Landing subdivision within the East Holmes Local School District. For more information or to choose a date and time to see this property, contact Nolan Mackey at 330-231-0028 or check it out at KaufmanRealty.com. Yoder Family Roofing and Spouting, serving you for the past 25 years. Located in Millersburg and serving the surrounding areas, call or text 330-695-3000 for all your roofing and spouting needs. Once again, this game being video live streamed on the WKLM YouTube tonight. Of course, that'll be courtesy of the Claxton Communication Team. We're also on FM 95.3 and WKLMFM.com. Three-pointer off the email pass, knocked down by Cameron Wickens. Her first of the night. There's a big one. Seven points. Makes it a one-point ball game. Highland up by one. Pass inside by Mullet. Now on top, back to Mullet to Joplin Yoder on the right post. Into the corner now. Grabbed by Mass to jo Ashley Mullet. High on the right. Shield dribbles to the foul line. Runner by Mullet. Off the glass and good. She got it to go. Why do you use the glass? 14 points, Ashley Mullet. 45-42 Highland. Smith these basketball. Under three minutes to play. Maddie Singer gets the handoff. On the left wing, grabbed by Audrey Seidel, dumps it inside, deflected, knocked to the four, and goes out of bounds off of Stutzman's hands, so it will stay with Smithville. Yeah, that started inside with Ashley Mullis, denied defense there, and boy, she's tired right now, and she mm. should be. No doubt. 2.38 to play, 45-42 Highland. Maddie Singer to inbound. Lobs it out top, goes to Allie Wickens, dumps it inside to Leah Kai. left wing now to Seidel. Back to Leah Kibe to the corner. Goes out top to Cameron Wickens. Dribbles the left wing. Cross court pass received by Allie Wickens. She'll dribble it. Allie crossover to the foul line. Kicks it left wing back to Cameron Wickens. Now dribbles it to the top of the key. Has it right wing. Backs it into the right post. Now we're cutting Maddie Singer. Her shot up in the air going to be no good. Gets called for the charge. And she ran in to Macy Mullet. Yeah, Macy Mullet did a great job. She saw that coming, knew right where the driving lane was, and she just stood there and waited and took the physical quality of it. She did. First personal on Maddie Singer. Fourth team foul also on the Smithies. 2-10 to play. 45-42 Lady Hawks. 1-2-2 press on by Smithville. Joplin Yoder's pass in the backcourt to Macy Mullet. Now to Ashley. She'll cross the timeline. Double team. And... Pulling turnover away. It was stolen by Smithville. Pass inside. Juggled the foul called on Macy Mullet defending Leah Kibe. Yeah, good foul there. That was going to need a bucket for Smithville. Fourth personal on Macy Mullet is a double bonus situation. That came after the 12th turnover on Highland. And it'll be Leah Kibe at the foul line. 5 8 sophomore averaging four points per game, a 47% free throw shooter. That free throw is good, though. First point tonight for Leah Kibe. Timeout called, 154 to go. 45-43 Highland. This is girls high school basketball on WKLM. Weikert Concrete, located on County Road 189 between Benton and Holmesville, specializes in ready-mixed concrete and state-approved limestone, sand, and gravel. All mixed styles are available, and you can count on fast, dependable delivery and competitive prices. 
Fikert Concrete has served homes and surrounding counties for over 75 years. Call Fiker Concrete today for all your concrete needs at 674-0038. Remember, for quality concrete, it's Fiker Concrete. Get your vehicle back on the road smooth and problem-free with Village Motors Collision Center. Hi, this is Deke Miller, and our Collision Center works on all makes and models and has available deductible assistance, along with loaner and rental vehicles available for your use, complimentary oil change packages, not to mention that we are the preferred repair shop for most insurance companies. Ask us about our cleanup packages with four great packages from basic to premium by appointment only starting at $19.95. For collision repair, make your first stop at Village Motors in Millersburg. Again, we're right to stay tuned later on tonight for High School Scoreboard on WKLM, brought to you by Homeless Siding Contractors. We'll have all the area scores for you all the way until midnight. And, Troy, occasionally you come across a game or just another team just refusing to lose. It seems like that's the case between the two teams tonight. Well, that's definitely the case here tonight. You can tell neither one of them wants to give up this game here. This has been a ferocious ball game. Leah Kive at the foul line for her second free throw. She made the first one before the, th the timeout. Second one also is good for nice Leah Kive. her veins. Her first two points tonight, 45-44 Highland, back to a one-point lead, and they had the ball. 148 to play. Ashley Mullen has it. Highland spreads the floor. Mullen, pass left side, goes to Mallory Stutzman. Dribbles out top, gets the handoff down to Evie Mass. Now back over to Ashley Mullen, high on the right side. Mullen jab step, one and a half to go in the fourth. Mullen starts that and now backs it up near the midcourt line. One point lead for the Lady Hawks. 120 to play. On the left wing, back to Evie Mass. Cross court pass to Stutzman now. Dribbles it now, picks it up. Stutzman gets the handoff now to Ashley Mullet. Tight defense by Singer. Mullet dribbles it. And finally going to be a foul called, I believe, on Singer, the 15th foul. So it'll be a double bonus. Yeah, Singer was trying to get that ball away. She's got a set of quick hands out there, too, yes. Matt. Here's second personal foul. Ashley Mullet will be at the foul line. That free throws up and good. 15 points now, Ashley Mullet. Three of those in the fourth. Ellie Haberger checking back in. Trish Troyer and Evie Mast out. Also, Macy Mullet checking back in. Second free throw by Ashley Mullet is good. Makes them both. Three point lead for Highland, 47 44. 109 to go. And for Smithville, it's Cameron Wickens who has the basketball. Works it against Haberger in the front court. Bounce pass down the left wing. Back out top from Leah Kive to Maddie Singer. Singer backs it up. Back out top, three-pointer by Seidel. Top of the key, going to be no good. Rebound over, grabbed by Leah Kive. Fifth East stole the basketball to Cameron Wickens now, high on the right side. And going to be a timeout called by Smithville. 45 seconds to go. Highland 47, Smithville 44. This is Girls High School Basketball on WKLM. With unpredictable power outages affecting homeowners more frequently than ever, Generac's best-selling home standby generators are designed to protect your home and family from extended power failures. This is Carrie Taylor inviting you to partner with Millersburg Electric and Generac for a free in-home assessment to identify the right generator for your backup power and financial needs. Power you control with peace of mind from Millersburg Electric, Ohio's premier Generac generator dealer. Call today or visit millersburgelectric.com. Game 47-44. You mentioned both teams kind of getting what they want out of this, Troy, here. He kind of, kind of checks his all the boxes, right? A big physical battle here, a lot of strategy down the, to the wire, everything you want here to kind of prepare you for those big games. Well, it is, and if this game doesn't get you ready for tournaments, nothing will. And, you know, this is a great game for the coaches here as well. They've got situations to figure out here, so this is a great tune-up, and we've had a dandy here tonight. No doubt, Highland on the floor here. It'll be out there, Macy Mullet, Joplin Yoder. Ashley Mullet on the floor, Ellie Habiger as well as Mallory Stutzman. For Smithville, Leah Kybe is out there for the Smithies. Also Cameron Wickens, Allie Wickens to inbound the basketball. And also out there is Audrey Seidel as well. Cameron Wickens has it to the front court. Maddie Singer, of course, on the floor. She'll have it now right of the foul circle. Drive to the baseline, shot by Singer, high in the air, no good. Rebound, Joplin Yoder. Highland basketball after they get that big stop. Ashley Mullet across the timeline. Pass near side goes to Habiger. The Stutzman guarded tightly in midcourt and a timeout by Highland. 
23 seconds to play. A 47-44 Highland advantage back after this on WKLM. When you're thinking of an old-fashioned smokehouse flavor, think Sugar Valley Meats. They cure their own ham and bacon in the old-fashioned smokehouse, uses hickory, apple, and sassafras. Processing, curing, and custom butchering are available. Cut to your specifications. Stop in and see all the products that they offer. That's Sugar Valley Meats on Dutch Valley Drive in Sugar Creek. Turn left at the light, and Sugar Valley Meats is one quarter mile on the right. Call today, 330-852-4423. Highland basketball out of the timeout, up by three, 23 seconds to go. So it's been inbounds at side court. They're past the backcourt to Ashley Mullet. She'll race right with the defender, Leah Kybe. Mullet now finally gra uh, grabbing a foul by Leah Kybe. That'll be her third personal, and now two more free throws for Ashley Mullet. Yeah, there was no doubt they wanted to get the ball in Ashley's hands there and send her to the free throw line. 19 seconds to play in the fourth quarter. And you want to get a sense just how good both teams are. You talked about, Troy, just how good they've been both sides of the foul line. They have done an amazing job here tonight as Highland remains perfect as Ashley knocks that one down. Ashley Mullet now up to five points in the fourth quarter with that free throw made. He has 17 for the ball game. That free throw is up going to be no good. Rebound going to be knocked out of bounds. And it will be Smithville basketball. That will be Highland's first miss on the night. 18 seconds, 48-44 Highland. Two possession game, Smithville basketball. Singer to the front court. Crossover out top, 12 seconds. Pass inside grab now by Allie Wickens. Wickens to the lane, spins around her. Scoop shot is no good. Rebound fall for grab by Joplin Yoder. And after the rebound, going to be a whistle blown and I believe a foul call with 2.8 seconds to go. And Highland going to have it in the Lady Hawks. After that, the foul on Cameron Wickens. She'll foul out Will Wickens. Now with seven points with 2.8 seconds to play. Looking like Highland's going to pull out this win in Detroit, but uh, certainly well-earned tonight. Well, it was well-earned. It was a gut check here for Highland, but here just been an outstanding game played by both teams here tonight. Joplin Yoder's had an amazing night on the board. She's got seven rebounds. And that is to go along with 17 points for her this evening. 48-44 lead for Highland. You know Highland's talented. Uh, rare is it to find a team that has the effort level that Highland has. We've seen that from Smithville tonight. Well, yeah, I think their effort's been match punch for punch here tonight. And this is what Highland wanted here. But just hats off to Smithville. I mean, this is this is the best 12 and seven team, team in the state, Matt. Without doubt. And that free throw up and no good. Pretty strong the Wayne County Athletic League this year. That second free throw's up going to be no good. Missed them both. Rebound grabbed by Mallory Stutzman. And a time will run out. Highland... Pulls out the hard-fought road victory tonight as Highland defeats Smithville in non-conference action. 48 to 44. Highland going to 18 and 2. They've won six straight. Smithville dropping to 12 and 7, and that snaps the two-game winning streak for the Smithies. Final score tonight: Highland 48 and Smithville 44. Back to wrap it up after this on WKLM. If you're looking for siding with more of an old school appeal, reminiscent of traditional sod and split cedar shakes and shingles that have been featured in American home buildings since the 1600s, then check out the authentic look of Provia Harborville shake and shingle siding and MRV siding supply. Modeled after a hand-picked cedar pieces using highly accurate laser scanning to ensure even the finest details were carried over into each Harbor Mill shake and shingle. That's MRV Siding Supply on County Road 624 in Middlesburg or on the web at mrvsiding.com. Get your siding supplies from the siding guys. MRV Siding Supply. At Promotion Therapy Services, customer service and specialized treatment options are what set us apart. We work hard for our patients day in and day out. Our team of physical and occupational therapists are conveniently located for you in the heart of Millersburg. Can't come to us? We'll come to you with our team of therapists who specialize in home health services. We make it easy to receive physical therapy, emphasizing a close relationship with your physician as well as helping you navigate the insurance process. Our team is excited to begin offering new services such as dry needling, sports-focused rehab, foot orthosis consultations, and taping. With questions, call us. 330-600-0844 or visit us online at promotion-therapy.com. We look forward to promoting a better you and would like to wish all winter sports a safe and healthy season. Everywhere, every day, someone somewhere needs someone to care. Young people are especially desirous of someone to show an interest in what they do, where they are going, and what they will become. Denco Marketing of Millersburg believes taking that interest in a young person can make all the difference. 
Which young person needs your time and interest? Whichever one or ones you can give it to. They'll take care of the rest. Supporting young people in all endeavors is especially important to Denko Marketing of Millersburg, where the business at hand is the business of home. Have you experienced the difference of hometown independent pharmacy lately? If not, now is the perfect time to start. Premier Pharmacy inside Rhodes IGA is now open and accepting new patients. This is Joel Gauss from Premier Pharmacies in Berlin and Millersburg inviting you to come experience the Premier Pharmacy difference. We want to be your teammate as you navigate the complex world of healthcare, offering you consistent, fast service and always being available to answer whatever questions you may have. Call us or stop in today. We will transfer all your active prescriptions from your current pharmacy so you don't have to worry about a thing. That's why we are Premier Pharmacy, your hometown independent pharmacy. It is the final girls basketball from the Berkey Fieldhouse. Highland gets the 48-44 victory over Smithville and a hard-fought win for Highland on the road tonight. For Highland, they jumped out to a 15-6 lead after one, but it was a pretty hard fought from that point forward. Smithville without score, Highland 10-9 in the second. Highland had an 8-point lead at halftime at 24-16. Highland outscoring Smithville 13-12 in the third quarter, and Highland had a 9-point lead at 37-28 through 3. And the Lady Hawks outscoring the Smithies 11-6 in that final period. Highland gets the 4-point win 48-44 uh, to get the victory here for tonight. And for the uh, the two teams here, Highland leading the way for them. They had two players in double figures. Leading the way for Highland was Ashley Mullet as well as Joplin Yoder. As for Ashley, she was two for six from downtown, three for ten from two-point range, and also six for eight from the foul line. Ashley Mullet had 17 points and in double figures for the 18th time on the season for Ashley Mullet. Also in double figures for Highland was a Joplin Yoder as for mission as she went 0 for 1 on three-point tries, but also six for ten from two-point range, and five for five from the foul line. Joplin Yoder also had 17 points. And for her, that is the 13th time she's been in double figures on the season and just three points shy of tying her season high. Also scoring seven points for Mallory Stutzman and three points for Evie Mast, two points apiece for Trish Troyer and Tori Weaver, running out the Highland total of 48. For Smithville, leading the way for them, it was Maddie Singer who had an outstanding game this evening. As for the guard, she went three for seven from three-point distance, three for five from two-point range, and four or five for the foul line. Maddie Singer finished up with a game high of 19 points. Also, Naomi Kybe, who fouled out with 440 to play, she would finish up in double figures, going two for five on three-point tries, and also three of five from two-point range. Naomi Kybe finished up with 12 points, and after that, it was... Seven points for Cameron Wickens. She would foul out with just under three seconds to go. Uh, four points also with Allie Wickens. Two points for Leah Kybe, running out the Smithies total of 44. Final score, Highland is the winner, 48-44 to 44 over Smithville. Now for the final team numbers, here's Troy Fritz. Yeah, thank you very much, Matt. For Highland on the night, they would go 4 of 18 for 22% behind the arc, while Smithville 6 of 18, good for 33%. Smithies would go 13 of 21 from the field, good for 62%. Highland 12 of 28, 43%. Outstanding night from the free throw line, both teams. Highland would go 13 of 16, 82%. Smithville 6 of 7, 86%. Rebounding advantage goes to the Lady Hawks, 31-27 over Smithville. The Smithies committed 15 turnovers on the night, Highland just 12. Individual rebounding leaders for Highland, seven boards for Joplin Uter on the night, three at the offensive end to go along with her 17 points. And also five rebounds for Mallory Stutzman this evening, and also four boards apiece for Trish Troy. AC Mullet. For Smithville individually, it was Allie Wickens, who had uh, seven rebounds to go along with four points this evening, and also six rebounds. And four boards for Maddie Singer. Highland is a winner, 48 to 44 over Smithville, but nothing easy with this one for Highland to get this win. Well, I don't think anybody was coming in here tonight looking for an easy road, and they didn't get it, Matt. It was a tough game, and what an entertaining game it was, but just a lot of good things going out there tonight. Both squads played an exceptionally good basketball game, and it was uh, it was well worth the money. Yeah, it certainly was here in our Six Bunnies player of the game will go to Joplin Yoder, who had 17 points to go along with her seven rebounds. We talked about just uh, the, the battle she had inside with uh, both the uh, Smithville's uh, inside defenders. Well, yeah, indeed, this was a game within a game of night. I mean, Joplin Yoder was doing battle down there all night with Naomi Kybe, and then the Wickens girls both had their turns yeah. on her, too. But, I mean, the physicality down low tonight was probably as 
it was as tough as I've seen maybe since that uh, Reynoldsburg game in the Classic, and that was a physical basketball game. So, you know, Highland got the test they were looking for here tonight. This is what they wanted, and, uh, you know, Smithville didn't disappoint. Smithville played an outstanding basketball game. No question. It was a good one tonight. Highland and Hebrew to pick, pull out the victory, and Highland, as a result, they're going to improve their record now to 18-2 and two for the second-ranked team in Division Four. They've won six straight, and they're going to turn around and play on a Saturday in the IVC Showcase. They'll be that final game of the night, and they'll take on the uh, North Division champion Stralsburg on a Saturday night. For Smithville, drop the, the loss. They'll go to 12-7. and seven. They've uh, snapped a two-game winning streak. They'll play on Thursday. Actually, play tomorrow night, and they'll play at Hillsdale for that contest. For us, we'll have girls basketball tomorrow. We'll have Madison and West Holmes. West Holmes will have a chance to clinch at least the uh, share of the OCC title with the win tomorrow night. We'll have that game for you. And also Friday, two games. Boys basketball. Lexington's at West Holmes. Highlands at Indian Valley. And Saturday afternoon, girls basketball. West Holmes at Triway. All those games being video live streamed on the WKLM YouTube page. And we do want to thank our uh, video live stream partners, Claxon Communications, Casey Claxon as well as Carson Zoller helping us bring you this video live stream coverage for this evening. Also, Kenna Howell, Kenna, her last night with us tonight, and we want to thank Kenna. Uh, she does just an outstanding job, and Troy, you know this, uh, when, when we got her back there and the game's going on here, we know there's not going to be any problems. Well, you know, Kenna, absolutely, we're going to miss you there. And, Matt, you know, when we hear them voices in the background there, we know we're covered back at the station. Our, our girls do a good job, and Kenna, great job tonight. We're going to miss you. Uh, we appreciate all you do, no question about that. But I'll wrap things up for us. Again, Troy Fritz, I'm Matt Croy. Reminder to stick around after the broadcast for high school scoreboard of all the area scores for you every 15 minutes all the way until midnight. Again, the final Highland winner, 48 to 44 over Smithville. So long, everybody. Thank you for watching high school basketball from your hometown radio station, FM 95.3 WKLM. Tonight's broadcast has been a production of WKLM Radio and Claxon Communications.